We are live. Welcome, everyone. Um, I'm going to start it up with the gospel. And I'm going to appoint a preacher, P, BP, to share uh, the gospel with us, to everyone Amen. listening. Thank you, Jesus, for um, allowing us to have the time to come together and fellowship, Lord, and be edified and uh, be strengthened and etc. cetera. Um, but I believe that Jesus was God manifest in the flesh and he came into his own, which were the Jews, God's chosen people. And uh, they denied him. They did not believe that he was the son of God. Um, he was their Messiah. He was Christ. And um, they condemned him. They pleaded to Pilate that he be crucified. And they achieved their goal. He was hung on a cross. And he was buried in the heart of the earth. But God quickened his spirit. He was physically dead three days, three nights. But God quickened his spirit on that third day. And he was resurrected. And he was seen by many, above 500 witnesses, in addition to his disciples. Jesus Christ roamed the earth for 50, 50, 40 days, last seen of, of uh, Apostle Paul. And I believe that that's the true gospel. Who is the true Jesus? Well, Jesus Christ said that he came in his father's name. And what was that name? It was a name that was obtained that was greater than any, because it says there's only one name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. It was given among men, so it was from heaven, and that name is Jesus. It's a heavenly name. It can't be interpreted. It can't be. Uh, it can't be translated. And Jesus Christ said, "If you've seen me, you've seen the Father." So in Acts. Peter and John, they baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So that's why I believe that Jesus is God the Father. Jesus is the Son of God. And Jesus is the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, died on the cross. But God cannot die because God is spirit, and we must worship him in spirit and truth. And Jesus Christ said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. So believe on the true Jesus, the mystery of the gospel, the mystery of godliness is the name of Jesus. It says, believe on the name of the Son of God. Believe on the one who raised Jesus from the dead. The reason God gets glory when we... Um, say you know we we give jesus christ um when we say the name jesus christ it gives glory to god the father because the name of god the father is jesus so i just encourage everyone that's listening and i pray that everyone that's listening believes on the true jesus no i'm not saying that the son of god is god the father I'm not saying that God the Father is the Son of God, but I, I believe that when you believe that gospel, you've received it, and you do receive it by default. God reads our hearts. You become a son of God as well. So the Father's in us, and, and we're in the Father. The difference is that we're born of earthly fathers. Jesus Christ was born of the Holy Spirit. So... Believe on that gospel. The mystery of the gospel is, is what I preach. And I just pray everyone listening believes that in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Jeffrey, bless us with that gospel. Amen. Oh, you, um, okay. Um, I believe um, Jesus Christ who manifests himself in the flesh, uh, who died upon the cross and 
who was buried uh, three days and three nights and then rose from the dead. And he lives forever on the kingdom of heaven upon the throne. Amen. Uh, so, yeah, I would just say uh, that's not the full gospel, Jeffrey. Um, the full gospel is found in the scripture so we can know uh, with certainty and have it kept in memory. So if we could pull up Acts 13. Uh, first point of the gospel is that it was God that was manifest in the flesh, really. Um, as Jesus Christ. So uh, Christ is uh, is the Messiah. And so uh, Jesus Christ is the Messiah. And ultimately, God the Father, his name is Jesus. So God the Father is not Christ, per se. But he manifests himself in Christ. The Father was in the Son, as you heard Patrick preaching. The Father is in the Son. So Great is that mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. I should say God manifest in the flesh, not not was. Just he did. He is manifest in the flesh. Currently, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So that man was the propitiation for our sins. He was the sinless and perfect Lamb of God, the only begotten of the Father. And that's and that's why he was perfect because he came from above he didn't come from from man he didn't come from this earth he didn't come from joseph he came from god so this is what uh paul preached he said men and brethren children of the stock of abraham and whosoever among you feareth god to you is the word of this salvation sent so this is that word of salvation and by believing in this, this is why we go to heaven. By believing this very word of salvation, this gospel. For they that dwell at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in condemning him. So <clears throat> you have uh, Jesus Christ who came to his own people here, who were, who were these people? that knew him not, that read the scriptures every Sabbath day. You know who that was that crucified him? Jeffrey? It was the Jewish. Yeah. So do you believe that that is part of the gospel? Yes. Okay, so then I would include it then. I would include that God manifests in the flesh, he came unto his own people, the Jews. He came unto his own creation, even, and they and they knew him not. But specifically, the Jews are the ones that put him up there, Jeffrey. They're responsible. That's how he died. No one else wanted him dead but the Jews. The Jews were the people that wanted him dead. Pilate didn't want to kill him. So, so that's part of the gospel. And then you said he was crucified. Absolutely. 100% agree with you on that. That is part of the gospel. He was buried three days and three nights. Absolutely 100% part of the gospel. That's what Paul preached here. And he was risen. Um, I would say once once Paul preached that he was risen here, it says in 30, if you see there, it says, but God raised him from the dead. See, the next point of the gospel is that he was seen. He was seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. So he was witnessed alive. So his own people, the Jews, they're the ones that crucified God manifest in the flesh, Jesus Christ. He was buried, risen, and seen. That is the gospel. Not it doesn't it uh, nowhere did was part of the gospel Jesus sitting on the throne. As a matter of fact, he actually sits at the right hand of God. But not to say that's inaccurate. I'm just saying uh, I would add, I would include the condemnation by his own people, the Jews, and I would add also the the witnessing. 
and I would also include the Word of God. You know, if you have a scripture, do you have a favorite scripture that you like to, to recite when you talk to people about Jesus? Jeffrey? Do I have any scriptures? Do you have like a favorite scripture that you like to read to people when you talk to them about Jesus or that you like to recite? I would I would say uh, Hebrews 1 8. Okay. Hebrews 1 8. And one point more, it also important, it, it says, No cause of death in him. Thank you. But yeah. He was innocent. I mean, he didn't die a guilty man. No, he was innocent. You see, he's the unblemished lamb, the just for the unjust. Amen. It, it even says, and though they, the Jews, found no cause of death in him, yet desired they, Pilate, that he should be slain. So the Jews knew he was innocent, but they, they still decided that he should be crucified. The only and they actually were seeking for someone to 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 give testimony against him. They were seeking for the days and they finally found someone, and the only thing they had was the only thing they had, which honestly makes sense because if he was perfect, then the only thing that he can be accused of is blasphemy. So they just ran with it, even though it, it was how could he be, it be blasphemy if he if he was perfect? then obviously he had to be who he said he was. But that's the only thing they had was blasphemy. And that's why they put him on the cross. And to be honest, they put him on the cross for envy, not because of his crime, so-called crime. They were jealous. They were envious. They hated him. They were haters. So, but unto the sun he saith, thy th throne, O God, is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness. Is sorry, a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Mm. Jeffrey, also uh, John three sixteen. A lot of people kind of know that first. So, especially if you uh, emphasize the point that whosoever believeth in him, that includes the the ones that you are preaching to. Should not Amen. perish, but have everlasting life. I mean, and any any sentence uh, or scripture in the Word of God is a seed, absolutely. But um, I mean, when you're preaching to someone, I, I would include the the Word of Salvation, um, and and for example, not the law. Don't talk about uh, uh, them keeping the law or them not keeping the law. It's about the word of salvation. So John 3, 16, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, so on. The name. Amen. The gospel is definitely uh, by grace as well. You can see in uh, Galatians 1, Paul says the gospel uh, uh, by grace. And in 1 Corinthians 15, he goes on to say about uh, by grace as well. So it's definitely a gift that you can never work for. A lot of people are confused out there and they think they have to be good people or keep the law to go to heaven. So uh, I think Paul uh, spoke about that a lot. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, needs to be preached uh, for somebody to be saved. No, I don't think that's. Uh, I don't know if I see that in First Corinthians or sorry in Acts thirteen there, um, but it's definitely good. Uh, it is good actually. Yeah. Uh, it's it's at the end. It's uh, it says, and by him all that believe are justified from all things by which he could not be justified by the yeah. law. Of Moses. That's right. So it's yeah, kind of sure. there. Yeah, definitely. They had right. to. They had to kind of be willing to throw that law out, and you know and. Romans 10 says for Christ is the end of or Romans 1 or, or I can't remember where it is shoot Romans somewhere Christ is the end of the law to everyone that believes yeah Amen. that's right yeah yeah but uh yeah we've we've worked a lot on Jeffrey we spent a lot of time on him I'm happy to have him in here and you can listen all he wants but and if he has if you have any questions Jeffrey absolutely but, uh, you know, he hasn't nailed the gospel yet, and uh, he can sit back and listen. Hopefully God can prick his heart. Um, and let's, let's 
I'm down to get on with the study and, and look into this uh, cryptocurrency and mark of the beast. Uh, unless someone else wants to add something to what we've been on the gospel. Yeah, you've already preached the gospel, kind of Bjorn, so I'll, I'll just give my report real quick. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> I believe that Jesus is God. He's the Father, He's the Word, He's the Holy Ghost. I believe that God was manifest in the flesh, uh, the Holy One, the Just, uh, the King of Israel, uh, the King of the Jews. Um, and the Jews, uh, they killed their own king. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. And he was crucified where he paid for all the sins of the whole world. And um, he was buried in a sepulcher. He was dead for three days and three nights. But God raised him on the uh, third day. And he was seen alive by his witnesses. And if you believe that gospel, that's how you receive the Holy Spirit. It's how you receive the righteousness of God. It's how you are baptized into his body. It's how you receive all the promises. Um, and I pray... But whosoever hears this uh, believes that gospel and john three sixteen. for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so believe on that gospel believe on jesus yeah he, uh, he, he paid for all your sins so just believe Hey man, I feel like we're getting some feedback, some background noises. I'm wondering if maybe we should all mute if we're not speaking. Hey man, it's definitely for the forgiveness of sins too. It's right there in uh, hey man. in line 18 there as well. And um, you know, the law uh, was to show us, it's like uh, Paul had not known sin except the law had said, thou shalt not covet, thou shalt not lust. Like uh, sin was our schoolmaster Um you know, it, it's uh, by the laws, the knowledge of sin. So it, it was there, you know, uh, to make every mouth be stopped and that everybody be guilty before God. And so we all were. Um, but if you've believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, if you've believed that gospel, then you're not under that law anymore. It's a new covenant and you're, you're free in the Lord and you have eternal life. And the gospel, again, you just must believe is, you know, and the brother said it is Jesus is God. Almighty, the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost. He was manifest in the man, Jesus Christ, that perfect sinless man who came into his own people, the Jews. They, they did not believe on him. They killed him. Uh, they crucified him. And after he died on the cross, they took his body down. They buried him. But on the third day, God rose him from the dead. And after that, he was seen by his witnesses life. And I rejoice evermore if you believe that. You know, you have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. So, uh, your and uh, Michael actually read a book about uh, Bitcoin and the uses of it. So uh, I can get some help tonight. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> any particular questions? Uh, yeah, I guess. From? I guess first thing would be. I think we should just go to the scripture first. Um, Great. What the why why is cryptocurrency you know um, interesting to me and, and and it's really based on scripture and that's in Revelation thirteen uh, talks about um, you know the ability to buy and sell will be limited to the people so they're basically trying to manipulate that ability which is you know money. It has to be, it's money. Is Buying and selling is used through money. Uh, money answereth all things. So even during that time, that during Jacob's trouble, money will be used to answer all of, you know, many of life's problems or issues, all things. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look here. Um, uh, maybe we should... Start a little bit up, but uh, I think that looks good. Um, see. Um, and he, okay, and he doeth great wonders, uh, so that he make fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, 
and deceiveth the, them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. So there's a lot of power that's given to uh, the Antichrist, saying to them that dwell on the earth. Oh, welcome, Ricky. Welcome. Have we spoken before? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, Ricky. Have we had... spoken before? I'm not sure. This is actually my second time. Okay. This You're is welcome. actually his third time on here. Um, he joined my welcome. live. He joined uh, Preacher T's, and now he's on. And uh, he said today he's going to try to actually uh, be on here a little longer. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. we definitely preached to him. I don't know what you want to do, Kurt. Do you want to? I mean, I mean, gospel is more important, <laughs> right? So, hey, Ricky, uh, let me ask you two questions. Do you know for sure you will go to heaven when you die? Do I know for sure? No, I don't know for sure if I'll go to heaven if I die. Okay. And the second question is, why should God let you into heaven? Why should God let Well, uh... I don't know. Those two questions, I do not know why he should or why he should not let me into heaven, to be honest. Do you know what Jesus Christ did for you? Yeah, of course. I know I know the whole gospel back in front. I'm just not sure if I would die, where would I go? And I don't know how can anybody else be sure when they die, where would they go? Glad you asked. So we always like to go to uh, the scripture, different verses, and see what God has to say. And let every man be a liar. So this is what God says, and it says that we can know. So it says, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. What's the name of the Son of God, Ricky? What's the name of the Son of God? Yeah, that's what I ask, yeah. Wow, and the uh, new and the New Testament is is Jesus. That's right, and, th and that's the name that was given from heaven among men, whereby we must be saved. So it's not Yeshua, it's not Jesus, it's not Jesus, it's not any of these names. It's the name, it's the heavenly name, Jesus. So it right. says, "These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, Jesus, that ye may know." that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So according to the word of God, you can know, Ricky, that you have eternal life. So do you believe that? Where are you quoting this from? 1 John 5.13. Ah, 1 John 5.13, all right. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, Jesus was a very common name uh, back in the day. So a lot of people knew it was Jesus, even in the Bible, you see the name Jesus. I mean, I pray multiple times. So I'm not sure why you say that the, that's the heavenly name. It's not Yeshua. It's not it's Jesus. No, I think I've done conversation here before once. And I proved with scripture, because you guys love scriptures, that there's other Jesus is in the Bible. That's right. Jesus there's didn't come until the, the New Testament. And there's only one Lord, Jesus Christ. And that's who you must believe on. Okay. okay. That's what it says uh, in Acts 16, 30. <clears throat> yeah, 31. In the Lord Jesus, you will be saved, you and your family. Yeah, Acts 16, 31. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, believe on the Lord Yeshua? No. No, on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. Yeah, but that's a translating. Well, we went to that already with the translation of the name Jesus. That, that Paul and Silas surely didn't say Jesus. No, that's a translating name because you know, he's reading in Greek. Mm -hmm. So, a Greek, you want to say Jesus in Greek. So, uh, I'm Dutch. Yeah. I call him Jesus. Yeah, of course, you're speaking English, you call him Jesus. In Greek, it was not 
Whoa. No, no, when no. Paul I'm still saying I'm said, Dutch and I say Jesus because yeah, that's the well, name that was given from heaven. I'm saying not a Hebrew Paul, name. Yeah, no, when, Paul Lord, still Lord. Said, when Paul said what he said, he didn't say that Jesus. You, you were not J J E S S uh, S U. I mean S U S. It was not Jesus. When Paul well, said what, that, that name, yeah, yeah they I mean they preach preached that. the gospel, but not the name. I don't want. Well, what I do not. They preached that name. Yeah. They they preached the heavenly name that was given. But l- let me just show you. Um, in Acts 2, um, it's uh, the day of Pentecost with the Holy Ghost that was given to the apostles. <clears throat> uh, in 4, it says, And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So the right. Holy Spirit, Jesus is the, uh, the name of the Holy Spirit, gave right. them utterance in other tongues. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. So there were Dutch Jews in Jerusalem. There were Chinese Jews. There were uh, Canadian Jews in Jerusalem. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So my countrymen at that time uh, heard the apostles speak in Dutch. Canadians heard him speak in, uh, well, f- French or English, whatever. Uh, the Chinese uh, heard him speak in Chinese. And he says it again. And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? And then if we go down, we can see what name they all heard. It's, uh, Peter is talking, ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus. They all heard that name of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. See, they they all heard that same name, Jesus. The Spanish did not hear Jesus. The Hebrews, Hebrew Jews did not hear Yeshua. The Dutch Jews did not hear uh, Jesus. They all heard the heavenly name. Jesus, the English name Jesus. That's the, the name. heavenly name. Yeah, uh, 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 I mean, which version are you guys using? King, King James version. What name do the angels in heaven worship, Ricky? I mean, uh, well, uh, well, I don't know yet. I'm trying to get which version are you using. Are you using the King James version? So you don't know the the name that was given from heaven, given among men whereby we must be saved. Well, I'm trying to go show you. somewhere to show you that the name Jesus is a newly invention, but I want to know what version of the Bible are you using? Is it the King, the King James it's the version? the Word of God. It's the King James, yeah. Uh, so let uh, me show you why Jesus wait, wait, is the wait, only wait. name. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> let me make that point across. So King James was... Written when? 1611, right? According to who? Huh? No, pa- Paul finished the word of God. We believe that Paul wrote this book. So, he... oh, so Paul wrote the King James? Yes, sir. Oh, interesting. Wow, you guys, okay. Wow. Okay. All right. That's interesting. You know. So, yeah, in so the I next four The King James is good for Paul. Is it just good for me, right? No, it's for everyone, um, oh. every believer. Must have King James. So if I speak French, I must have a King James Bible. I'm Dutch. I, I read the King James. I don't read the yeah, Dutch Bible. I think it's the gospel. So, so only the King James have the real gospel. Every other, every other version or languages don't have it. Well, when Moses wrote, the, when Moses got the tablet from the Lord, uh, did someone other than Moses have the law? Or did only Moses have it? Well, when Moses got it from from Mount Sinai, it was only Moses that had it. Amen. So does God change? He's, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His word is pure. And so Moses had the word of God. It was mm-hmm. given to him by God. And only mm-hmm. Moses had it. And now, 
Paul has fulfilled the word of God. Oh, Paul. Okay, interesting. Yeah, he's the apostle. Moses is no longer the apostle. In fact, so Paul he is the apostle. Yep. Yeah. So why do you call but, so why you guys call yourself Christian, not Pauline type of Christianity? Guys? So wait, we never called so, ourselves Christians. The people called called us Christians first. God yeah. never calls us Christians. So we're believers. And you're just an unbeliever, and you've not found yourself worthy of eternal life. The same thing that Paul said to the Jews that rejected him. So, I mean, if you want to sit back and listen, or if someone wants to give their report who hasn't yet given the report to Ricky, I believe at this point preaching to him is, uh, is uh, vain and a waste of time when I think we should continue in our studies. But, Kurt, it's your study, and uh, that's just my position. I'm giving a yeah. kill the floor to preach that gospel, plant of seeds. Well, let me say that one one last thing, and I just listen, I cannot just listen to you guys. Before I came in here, I clearly said that I am a skeptic of everything. They say I could come in. So you guys could ask me questions. I'm asking questions. No, you guys believe stuff, and that's fine. I mean, I'm okay with it. I'll just sit back and listen to you. But if you ask me a question, of course, I will answer. Okay. So I'm just going to sit back and listen. Okay, great. Well, Ricky, I, uh, you know, I appreciate that you are speaking to us and listening. I pray that your heart is open and listening to uh, what's shared here. But I believe these brethren are sharing from the word of God, which is the truth, you know. And uh, we try to keep our own personal bias and opinion and our own personal um, intellect out of it and, and just go by every word of God. So I truly believe that scripture tells us that Jesus is the name above every name. I believe that Jesus is, is the word of God. So Jesus is the word that, that, that he wants you to believe on. And so I believe Jesus is God that was manifest in the flesh. It says the word became flesh in John 1, uh, 12, 1, 14, somewhere around there. And uh, so I believe Jesus is God that's manifest in the flesh. That the son of God inherited the name of the father. And I believe that the son of God is Jesus. And uh, God dwelt in the son of God. See, Jesus is the holy one. He is God and man. I I like to say that God, man, you can't you uh, separate um, God from the Son of God, you, and so He is the Son of God, and um, I believe that He came unto His own, and His own received Him not, and His own were the Hebrew people, His own were the Jewish religion. Um, he was made under the law. So he came unto those that were under the law of the circumcision, and they rejected him. They said, let Barabbas free, but crucify him. So he was condemned by his own people and sent to die on the cross. And so he died on the cross for the sins of the world. He who knew no sin became sin for us. And so um, he was buried in the grave or in a sepulcher. And on the third day, God rose the body the flesh, the man, Christ Jesus, from the dead. And he was seen, ri risen by his witnesses, over 500 of them. Um, one of the witnesses touched the nail prints of his hand and said, my Lord and my God, and that was Thomas. And so I believe that that Jesus, that gospel that's found in Acts 13, that's found throughout uh uh, all of the scripture, but uh, all, all of Paul's writings testify to the truth of this gospel, and Paul preaches this gospel, and I, I believe that that is what we must believe on to be saved. We can have some doctrinal differences, we can have some teaching differences, but that's the, that's the gospel that saves us all, and if, if, if you don't believe that Jesus and that gospel, then you won't make it into heaven, and, and our hope and our prayers that you believe it, so we can see you in heaven and we can be with, with you forever. But we wouldn't be telling you these things if we didn't care, um, if we if if we didn't care about your eternal soul and your eternal existence. So 
only by, by pride come with contention and we don't want to be contentious. We really want to preach. That's our, our heart's desires to preach this gospel to the lost world. And if we truly believe that you're lost, we would tell you and we would tell you you need a savior. And I would hope you would do the same for me. If you saw me hurt or wounded or you would tell me, hey, Kel, you're bleeding. You need you need a bandage. You know, you, know, you may not see it, but you're in, in your back. You got stabbed by some backstabber and you're bleeding. I would appreciate that. I would I wouldn't say, no, I'm not bleeding. I'm good. I'm good. No, I would I would listen up and I would take heed. Well, you do well if you take heed to this word. Believe on that gospel, please. Can I ask one last question? Because you said something that's that's very profound. If you see me bleeding, or if I saw you bleeding, I will say something. All right, so uh, you guys mentioned King James and Paul and the name Jesus. Uh, well, okay. And the 1611 version of the King James, did you know the name Jesus did not appear? It's Lesus with an L. Well, so you, do you believe that what, I, what, what we preach? Do you, so you don't believe Jesus is the name above all names? No, I mean, I just go by historical evidence. I'm looking at 1611, and there's no J in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you guys could sh show me prior to the 1700s, there's a, there's a J somewhere in the name of Jesus. Oh, so, yeah, then I'm a believer for sure. Okay, great. So if you're, if you're convinced by the scripture that J-E-S-U-S -S is the name of the Father, then you would believe. No, I would believe that the name Jesus is the uh, heavenly name, the way he's spelled to us, I mean, to us today, the, Jesus. Uh, if you could prove to me before 1611 or before the 1700s, there's Jesus in any manuscript that you guys could have, since you said Moses had it, I don't know. I could ask, how did Paul get it? If only Moses had it, but that's another different question. Well, we, we, but, can show, we can show you in the manuscript called the King James Bible, how Paul got the name Jesus, and that Jesus, J-E-S-U-S, -S, was the name given to Joseph and Mary to name their, their, their son. Wow, wow, please show it to me. If you could show me somewhere be, before 1611, even the 1611 version. Show it to me, and I'll stay quiet. But I'm going to stay quiet and listen to you guys. Anyway. Well, I, I want you to believe, and I don't care about you staying quiet. I want you to believe. Um, if you look right here, Luke 2.21, he says, And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising, circumcising of the child, his name was called J-E-S-U-S. Do you notice that those are all capitals? <laughs> Okay, is that a version before 1611? Well, I believe uh, that I just wanted you to answer. Do you notice that that is J-E-S-U-S, -S, even in this version, right? Yes, that's why they said okay. in the version you're reading. Okay, well, in this version, it's naming Jesus as Jesus. So you, you're saying that you don't believe this version. You're believing in a 1611 version that you don't even know if it was a true 1611 version, you're believing man. See, were you there at 1611 when it was supposed well, to be written? Well, I can ask you the same question. You know, the Bible said every man is a liar and believe God. That's right. But if That's I have right. to believe, yeah, if I have to believe that scripture, I, I, I have to believe the person that said that scripture to me is lying because every man is a liar. No, 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 the scripture's not lying. The man, but, the scripture cannot lie. So what yeah. I'm saying, what I'm saying is, I'm challenging your uh, authority of 1611. You weren't there 1611. You weren't there in 1911. So if you if you would be honest with yourself, is you're believing a historian that says, "Hey, this was written then." I'm saying, believe the written word right before your eyes. Let God be true. As it is written, let God be true, but every man a liar. And the written word right before your eyes has capital J, capital E, capital S, capital U, capital S. 
And Jesus is the name of God. All, all throughout scripture, the name of God is capitalized. And that's the only name that's capitalized. And Jesus is one is 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 one of the names, and it's the name above every name, as Philippians two says. Maybe if we can go there. See, I want to challenge where you what you're basing is your authority. You're basing historians' teachings as authority, and I would I would love for Scripture to be your authority. See, it's wherefore God also have highly exalted him and given him a name. See, that name was given to him. It was inherited. It's the name of the father given to the son and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue, English, Hebrew, Greek, should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Because if you remember in Genesis 11, God cursed the one tongue or the one language. And that language was confounded. See, and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. So that's not even the language that Jesus' name comes from. I mean, well, I believe that is the, the language that it comes from. Let me, the, the confounded part of it. If you scroll down to one, I think 11, seven, yes. Go to let us go down and there confound their language. See, so there is a location, T-H-E-R-E, and T-H-E-I-R is possession. So it's not his language that's confounded. It's not his heavenly language that's confounded. It's their language, the earthly language down there, not in heaven. So the, the name Jesus comes from heaven that they may not understand one another's speech. So Jesus's name is not a confounded name. It's a heavenly name that's perfect, that's good. When God created everything in Genesis one, the last line of that Genesis says, and it was good. Can we go to Genesis 1 real quick? Because the language was good. Genesis 1, uh, yeah. And God saw everything that he may, had made, and behold, it was very good. The language. So Jesus is very good. He did nothing but good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So what my contention is, what the scripture is telling us, is that name is a heavenly name that's very good, that's not confounded, and it was given to the Holy One of God because he has the name which is above every name. It's not English. It cannot be interpreted. It is heavenly. It's very good. It's Jesus. And if you believe on that name, if you go to John 1, 12 and 13. Thank you. I believe Kurt is handling it. Thank you, Kurt, for letting me speak. Sir. He came unto his own, and his own received him not, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. We have to become the sons of God. And how do you get that power to become a son of God? Even to them that believe on his name. Why do you think the name is getting attacked? Because the name is how you receive the power to become the sons of God. Don't be deceived. This word is telling you that that name Jesus is precious. That name Jesus is holy. That name Jesus is very good. That name Jesus is the name above every names. And if you go to Acts um, 4, 10 through 12, and then I'll let another brother step up. Um, it says, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel. So he's talking to you, me, and everyone that, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If someone could finish that, I'm sorry, I got to take this. Thank you.
Yeah, um, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name, singular, only one name, under heaven, given among men, Hebrew men, Dutch men, English men, Chinese men, whereby we must be saved. There's only salvation in the name Jesus, not in any other name. Do you see that, Ricky? I don't know if his phone is frozen or not. Ricky. It looks like his phone is frozen, man. Oh, there he is. Did you hear I'm here. Yeah. I heard everything. Okay. Can you guys hear me? All right. So let me ask that question then. Since, uh, you know, you guys don't want to go to the historical evidence of, of it. So let's just go to scripture. So you believe the name Jesus was always his name? Well, the scripture makes his name. Would well, you say believe the name Jesus is what? All of his name? Well, no, I mean, it was always his name. Yes, yes. All right, so how do you, I mean, how do you explain uh, Re Revelation 19? Okay. Can we go to Revelation 19? Which verse? Right. Or line? <laughs> uh, verse 13. Let's look at verse 13. All right. Uh, always like to read before and after. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. Um, and he had a name written. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Jesus is the Word of God. His name is called the Word of God. Amen. His name is called the Word of God. That's right. His name, Jesus, is the Word of God. Just like Jesus is the Everlasting Father. His name is called the Everlasting Father. His name is called Wonderful. Name and found called counselor, but he's talking about the name. Amen. Jesus is the word of God. Amen. But it's Jesus is the name. His name is called. And he said, had a name written. That's just a name. That's not the name. Jesus is the name. The name above all names. Ricky, you don't sound like you believe. I just saw a message that this is the third time you've been in our studies. I don't know. I did my part. I sound like the other brother and did their part after first and, second and third admission. It's time to reject. Thank you, brethren. I won't be so abrasive because uh, Brandon <laughs> asked me to calm down, so I'm going to do so. No, nah, hey, it's okay to be yourself, brother. Be yourself. So whatever you gotta say, I'm okay with it. And I'm okay. Be yourself. Be you. I mean, be whatever you want to say, say it. I'm I'm okay with everything. I'm fine. So. Um, Ricky, I'm gonna give you uh, in the private chat the the link so you can keep watching. But um, appreciate you will uh, join and at least heard the gospel, and now. Again, for the third time, you're you're without excuse. So I, I pray you believe that because it, eternity is on the line. And that's the only way to enter heaven. It's by the, the only name that saves, the only name that was given to everyone. No matter where you're from, whether you're Dutch like me or Hebrew or English, Jesus is the only name that was given. And that's the name you must believe on. Neither is there salvation in any other. So I, I, I pray you believe on the name Jesus, the name of the Father, the name of the Word, the name of the Holy Ghost. 
Uh, All right. So, uh, so again, thank you for allowing me to speak. It was a pleasure hearing you guys always. Uh, you guys keep doing what you guys doing. And you truly believe what you believe, and I'm not against that. And for me, I preached the gospel for, for 20 years. I, I, mean, I read this book, only King James, about 10 times. So, uh, well, um, good that you guys still believe what you believe, and I'm not saying you guys should not believe it. And I'm, that's not what I'm about. I'm just here to listen to you guys, and I want to enjoy the rest of the Bible study. All right, keep listening, Jeffrey. All right, Ricky, my bad. Um, it's fine. All right, good day. Jeffrey too. <laughs> and Jeffrey, too, yeah. <laughs> keep listening. Ever learning and never able to come to knowledge of the truth. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Let's continue. <laughs> Amen. Um, Where are we? Yeah, we were in uh, Revelation 13. 13. Yeah. Um, yeah, we were talking, speaking about kind of the power that the Antichrist has. And, um, you know, he has a certain level of power now. He's the prince of the power of the air. Um He's the prince of this world, so I, he has uh, the power. Um, he's the god of this world. So, you know, we'll continue to read. Um, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live and had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. That's a whole other different topic. I'm sure Kurt that we could get into involving the AI technology and all that. That's essentially what I think that image of the beast could be. Um, but just thought I'd point that out since we're here, because I know you like that end time study stuff. So that'd be a good other topic. Amen. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So it's all. He's going to cause everyone. He's not going to force. It's causing them. Uh, it doesn't matter. If you're poor, if you're rich, the poor they're gonna need it. They're gonna need money to survive. Everyone needs the money to survive. Um, potentially, I believe in this time that there is means of survival without it, um, and you do have to endure to the end. Um, but you know, uh, it doesn't matter what class you are. Uh, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. There's going to be a literal mark in the body, in the right hand or in the forehead, inside of it. And uh, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's interesting. So so is it, does that mean that it, no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or – so is there – is there an option outside of the mark? Do you, do you see a, an option if you have the name of the beast or the number of his name? Is that still going to give you the right to buy and sell? That's uh, something we could look into there because it seems like it was only by the mark. Can you buy or sell? But now reading this now, it says that if you have the name or the number. And that name is uh, Yeshua, right? We believe, yeah, we, according to scripture, according to 18. Yeah, so mm -hmm. Kale, maybe you can uh, chime in on this. says that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Mm -hmm. So is it, is it exclusive to the people that have the mark or is it 
exclusive to people that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Is what exclusive? Buying or selling. Oh, well, I mean, it, it says they won't be it and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So he won't, you won't be able to buy and, and unless you had, you know, one of those three. And I'm assuming yeah. that they're all going to be tied and connected. I mean, we're not assuming it's showing that it's all going to be tied and connected back to the beast. And so he's saying that these are the three ways that, that, that you can either buy or sell with the name of the beast, the number of his name, um, and his, or his mark. Um, so it doesn't mean that you have to have the mark or if you have the name or the number. Well, you remember, he says, he, yeah, he's going to, you don't have to have the mark. That's true. But um, he's going to cause all that um, they re receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehand. Oh, hand. okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. Yep. And, and, um, and, and then the people are damned for just even worshiping the beast. <laughs> Um, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, so, um, again, he's not forcing all. He's causing all. So just like they're yeah. causing people to do to take the, the vaccine right now, they're not forced to do it. But just know if you line up and take not the vaccine, I'm just saying if you take that mark, you're damned. But people, they, they emphasize just taking a mark, but they don't realize that they might say, OK, I'm not going to take the mark, but I'll I'll put it, you know, put his number or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Or I'll worship him. I'll go to worship. His, yeah. Worship. But, but, you know, people gonna fall just from worshiping the beast, you know. So I don't think everybody in the world is gonna be marked. It doesn't say that, but he's gonna make a cause all, and that means even people that are, you know, in the bushmen, you know, out in the bushes somewhere, you know, wherever on an island, a small island somewhere, mm -hmm. all everyone. every every type of people, class of people. That's what yes. that, that line's for. Doesn't that's mean that awesome. every single person will be marked. No, it doesn't. Never said that, yeah. and. Nope. Yeah. And I don't believe everyone will be marked. I believe yeah. majority of people will be, but um, mm -hmm. some people may not want the mark and probably can't even take the mark. You know, maybe they're um, too old, elderly or something, and, you know, whatever. And so they yeah. like maybe another option. Okay, we can have the name or you can have a number of his name or whatever, or you need to worship him or something. But it looks like you just one of those three in order to buy or sell. Okay. You to buy or sell without it. Okay. Because uh, uh, I was previous to reading this now i was thinking you had to have the mark but no it's no. either it, it's one of those three options so okay interesting and that's how you know what well, the beast is not in control yet but he's going to be ruling the world you know he, the powers are going to be given to him so they're going to elect him to be the world leader so if you um where's it uh so if you go to the first, he's this is the second beast talking about. Uh, if you scroll up, let me see Revelation thirteen. We were just there. He was he's given power. Yeah, he was given power. See, that's the first beast is given power. Second power beast is actually seem like he's even more more power, but uh, well, he he does more power in front of people. Um. Yeah. Yeah, and thirteen five. And there was given unto him, oh wait, and they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast in 13.4. And they worshiped the beast saying, so they worshiped Satan. See, these are Satan worshipers. So worship the dragon that gave power unto the beast. See, so this is how Satan is getting worship. And they worshiped the beast saying, who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? So, I mean, he's going to be able to bring fire from heaven. It's like, I mean, no ship, no plane, no no army can come against you. If he can just bring fire, strike you down from heaven, you know, I mean, who's going to be able to stop this guy? And that's what they're going to say. I mean, he's almighty. I mean, and not almighty in terms of almighty among men, not almighty in terms of God, but among men, he's going to be powerful, you know? So it's like the the strongest wins. So that's what they're going to say. 13.3 uh, kind of touches on that. Just back up a little bit there, Kurt. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wonder after the beast. 
that's why they have these movies where they're kind of coming back from the life kind of thing. So he's going to try to counterfeit, you know, the resurrection, you know. So he's going to have a deadly wound and he comes back to life. And then, then, and they worship the dragon, which gave power to the beast. See, so. Mm. Oh, there you go. Three through two. And the beast, which I saw was like unto a leopard and his feet was as the feet of a, as a bear and his mouth was a, as a lion. Again, this is a vision that he saw. It's not so it's an actual man. It's not it's, it's just giving him a vision. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat. See that his seat, his authority and great authority. That's the great authority. So he sit, he sits in, as an elected official, um, mm -hmm. king or whatever. He's he's going to be uh, he's given that seat um, and that great power and great authority over the world. And and they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, who was like unto the beast? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 42 months. So he had a, uh, you know, he has he, he to continue and not start. So he's, it's just showing that he's already in power uh, or rising to power. And then once he gets that that continuing power, he says, OK, now he's got a contract or agreement or whatever for 40 and two months, which is what? Uh three and a half years. And the second he does that, he does the, the, the abomination of desecration. Yeah. In Israel and in the, in the temple in Jerusalem. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God. It's the first thing he does to blaspheme his name. Just like we're just talking about it going against the name Jesus and his tabernacle. And them that dwell in heaven. See us. <laughs> See that? We're in heaven. Said them that dwell in heaven. <laughs> and then this is Patrick in here. Yeah. We're full. <laughs> I mean, so, I would uh, put somebody backstage who's not participating. Um I would I, say I Jeffrey. Michael. I would say Jeffrey. Uh he can listen. He's just been listening anyways. He can continue to listen. That's my vote. You want to say something, Jeffrey? Just put something in the chat, and then uh, you can. We, I can add you back in. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, Patrick. Uh, and Sean is in as well. Want to give your report real quick, Sean? Yeah. So, Go ahead. Uh, my report. You know, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He uh, he rose on the third day and was seen by his apostles and the 500. And he came into his own. And I believe, you know, he died for our sins. I believe that, you know, deep down in my heart, with all my heart. And um, that's it. That's my report. Do, do you believe that Jesus is God? Manifest in the flesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's part of his well, right? He's the holy one, the just. Mm -hmm. He was yep. innocent. That's yep. what, that's He's never sinned. Yep. He's the only, um, you know, when he came into his own, have never sinned. If you say he came into his own, don't forget his own received him not, so his own rejected him. That's that's the that's the key. Oh point. yeah, his, his own rejected him. The Jews rejected him. Yeah, because yeah. they're the ones that hung him on the cross. Yeah, and mm -hmm. don't forget, he, after he died, he was actually buried for three days, or he was buried in the sepulchre. I believe three days, because he says on the third day he was rose from the dead, so he was buried and risen on the third day. Yeah. So okay. that's all, but yeah, you're getting you're getting better at right? giving your report, amen. Okay, amen. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you, man. Man, um, we were looking at uh, for seven, line seven, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations 
Revelation 13, 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. Huh. So only the ones that worship uh, the beasts. Yep. Uh, so it just defines that you won't be in the Lamb's book of life if you're worshiping him at that time. Yep. Yep. It's, so he's yeah. saying all that it's not everyone in the world, but all that yep. are not in the last book of life will worship him. So it's uh, right. at that time, it's only two types of people, those that worship the beast and those that do not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's not saying that all, yeah, that all that dwell upon the earth are going to worship him. It says, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, right. slain from the foundation of the world. He knows who won't worship him. <laughs> so we don't. Yeah. And he wrote their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. So, Amen. If any man have an ear to hear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That sounds like it's speaking about enduring to the end. Uh yeah. Yeah. So you are going to have to endure. Um, and I beheld another beast. I should say they are going to have to endure. We will not. Yeah. So there's uh, a be second up. beast. There it is. Yeah. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. So he's coming with all the power that the first beast had mm -hmm. and cause the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means by the means of those miracles he had power to do in the sight of the beast. So the deception is coming by the miracles. Which is uh, kind of like a copycat because it was by the w miracles that Jesus that Jesus was uh, calling them out to believe because of the work's sake. Um, and they still rejected him. But it, it, it seems that uh, the the second beast is going to deceive them and corrupt their minds um, mm -hmm. by the that, by the miracles in the same fashion that uh, Jesus, uh, you know, was uh, con trying to convince them and prove to them and show them those miracles and to believe because of those miracles. Um, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. They should make an image to the beast. That's interesting. Of the first beast, yeah. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Yeah, here we are back to that image. And he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. There is a lot to unpack in here, <laughs> but um, yeah, initially this was all kind of brought up because we wanted to, or I wanted to bring up um, the direction that uh, the currencies and the money is going, um, and so it seems that he's going to be controlling. Um, uh, the currency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The the uh, what's the word? The um, 
because right now you have a paper currency that can still be used. Mm -hmm. So there's limited, the control is between the buyer and the seller only. Mm -hmm. um, right, right. As long yeah. as, as, as long as fiat currency is alive and paper money is still accepted, we have total control of cash deals. Mm -hmm. um, obviously abiding, we have to abide by our tax laws as we should, um, but that can't be controlled. It's not mediated. Um, but uh, the bank, the bank is, is uh, that mediator. And it seems to me that the, this this mark and 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 this beast is going to be controlling the mediation of the transferring and the exchange and, and the transaction so you may have you may have money but you will not have access to it to it anymore until you uh till you have one of those three either the mark the name of the beast or the number of his name i think that that your money will be dormant until you until you conform. So he's going to cause you to, uh, you know, because you want to be able to to buy and sell. So no so more. So we're going to no be more. it'll be based off bartering pretty much. We'll, we'll we'll barter for, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point because. Um, Buying or selling, you would assume is money based, mm -hmm. and so the word you're used. I don't know what the word is used in scripture. The word yeah. using barter is an exchange of goods for goods. Yeah, let me look at that. I'm curious about. Um, so no one can buy or sell. So maybe I don't know. Um, I guess maybe trade, 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 maybe trading. Trade. Trade, yeah. That's the, that's a word for sure. Mm -hmm. That would, you know, trading. Trade. Let me yeah. do a word search for that. Yeah. I mean, trading includes both with mo with money and you know, Everything. goods for goods. Yeah. But Amen. Buying and selling is only with money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trading. Yeah, exactly. Trading can be with goods. It could be with currencies. Yeah, but buying and selling can. It, it involves money. It does not involve goods for goods. The very first time I see it in Genesis, Genesis 30, 14, and ye shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade ye therein, and get you possessions therein. Yeah, there you go. I believe he's going to be a man of the people. Because a lot of people don't trust the banks. So it's this decentralized money system. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Yeah, that is a really good point. They are. Um, well, remember in when when God was, you know, uh, speaking in Isaiah to I think it's Isaiah or Ezekiel to Satan mm -hmm. to Lucifer, and saying that this is the one that weakened the nations. So, <clears throat> uh, where is it? 14, maybe? If you just type in Lucifer, it's only once. Um, yep, and trade, there you go. Trade, trade is only mentioned five times, four times in Genesis, and one time in Revelation. Okay. Yeah, how how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. North, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdoms, plural, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that are opened not the house of his, that opened not the house of his prisoners? destroyed the cities thereof 
all the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in glory, even one in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain, trust, thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them with the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant. And the son and nephew, saith the Lord, I will also make it a possession for the bittern, the pools of water, and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. <clears throat> so he weakens the nations. And the, the currencies that we're using are all, you know, 98% of the, you know, I would say 100% of the population of the earth are using the currencies of the, their nations. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe Kurt or Michael can correct me if I'm wrong there. I mean, based on what we hear and know in the world today, everyone's using cash money from, from our countries. If they're paying taxes, for sure they are, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a good much. point. Yeah. That's so a good point. During this COVID stuff, he, he, I mean, he, the, way, the nations are weaker than ever, <clears throat> right? So I believe it's Satan's work. He's the one that is weakening all the nations of the earth today. And God is not the author of confusion. And we know Satan is. And with the COVID uh, coming in, it's so confusing. I mean, now they're talking about going further lockdowns over here in uh, Ontario in the east and, and, and even, you know, I think, you know, west. They're talking about locking down again, a third lockdown, like some sort of serious thing. People are getting scared again, even though it's been blatantly proven and openly how ridiculous and illogical this coronavirus and all its, all its, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Like the testing alone mm -hmm. is a huge red flag. That they're admitting that it's just not accurate, and that what was it, eighty percent of that testing is inaccurate? I don't know, but it's just a, it's a big, it's a big sham, and it's just pure confusion. So I guess my my question would be, um, you know, when it's all said and done, we're still here. Are we prepared to to go back to the most basic way of living? Because in order to join societies, you know. All of that, I mean, we're going to just have to, thinking about the trading and, you know, uh, survival, I mean, are we we're not going to be, we're not going to be there during Jacob's trouble, so we I won't know, be I, here during I'm aware, the market. I'm aware of that, I'm aware of that, but I'm saying like, even before, because it's not, it's going to just get progressively worse, so. Yeah. It, it well, could potentially be where, you know, they have some way that they've done the money where, you know, or, I mean. I think what what I would, what I, it sounds like you're saying is that because this, everything is trying to be converted over to something mm -hmm. that is online and basically put fiat current, the fiat currency, the paper money to an mm -hmm. end. Um, you know, you could even go as far as it's not really paper. Paper is a representation of it. And, you yeah. know, that's, there's kind of two sides to the coin on that. Mm -hmm. You have a number in your bank account, and then yeah. you have the limited supply of paper and yeah. coins. But it's kind of all tied in together. Whereas, and, 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 and cryptos have the same, have that same idea, but they st seem to stand pretty firm. For instance, use an example of Bitcoin, which is kind of, the the big one they're not going to be making any more there that's it mm -hmm. so whereas like the central bank system and the u.s dollar uh they just keep making more and more and more and more and more like the right. uh, you know absolutely um, it only has power because we're, we, 
because people give it give it value. And then exactly. And so for me, it's like what I see is that it's going to be easy for someone to come in and take over because every single nation has just worked up so much debt. I mean, it seems like all of them, especially United States, Canada, we have just so much debt that um, it's going to be easy for it to die and be replaced. Um, but so, you know, if, if you are holding all your um, savings in, in U S dollars or Canadian dollars or Dutch dollars or whatever, I think that, yeah, you could be put in a position where you're at risk because if one day it's over and, and, and the currency collapses, then you become mm-hmm. what Kurt would know as is a bag holder. Someone who's sitting there with a bunch of money that's worth nothing. Mm-hmm. No one wants it. They want your bank because they're they bankrupt. Want, they they want Dogecoin, <laughs> whatever it is. I'm uh, just saying they want something, right? They don't want they want something of value. They don't want this paper mm-hmm. anymore. But yeah, then th- at that point, if you all you have left is is your assets and your goods, yeah, you're going to be stuck with bartering. And that's what my hope is with the study was that as brethren, we can have the advantage, a real advantage using the word of God to see, hey, look, we can see what's coming in the world and we still have a lot of time and opportunity. This is still the beginning state stages. There's still you know, a bit of a revolution taking place, a, a changing of tides, if you would, that's taking place. And I think it's gonna take some time still, but with technology and media, and the impact that now we can see this one world agenda has a, such a quick impact. And they're seeing all that data take place, you know, with COVID shutting down the economy, they could just as quickly do that to the fiat currency. So if you're holding cash, I think that could be risky and dangerous <laughs> if you're relying on that cash. Mm. What about as far as it? when they want their tribute money in that uh, currency. What's that? Like when they want the taxes paid with United States dollars or Canadian dollars or euros or whatever, wherever the nation you're in, when the governments yeah. want their tax money, you know, uh, they're going to want, or they're not going to want it in their own denomination. You know, how else can you pay That's them? A good, that's a good mm-hmm. point. That's actually a really good point. Yeah. Because every country wants to fight for their for their mm-hmm. their country's currency. But no. at the same time, we see that these these leaders are ready to hand off, you know, the decision making to the powers that be the world leaders. I believe that's the big one that's gonna come is, is the crushing of the authority behind each individual nation and that they're gonna have to serve to what is the name of that uh uh, what is it? Uh, United Nations. Yeah, the United Nations. Slowly but surely, mm-hmm. they become, you know, the authority to dictate mm-hmm. to them. Yeah. And they're breaking laws doing it. They're, the, 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 our own government is breaking laws. So, who knows? Uh, it's going to be a process again. Small amount of people are holding the crypto right now and know about it. And it seems like this this Doge coin, as much as it's a funny meme and all that, I believe it has its place and purpose. And I believe that it's to get uh, people involved. It's the they call it the people's uh, crypto. Uh, anyone who's been involved in crypto knows that it's a joke and that it and that it holds n- no real um, trust. You can't really trust it, but it doesn't mean that you can't make money off of it if you wanted to just to be wise about it. But I think it's just an education. It's like a training coin for people to get excited about. Maybe hear the news stories about people making quick cash, uh, all the tweets and everything involved. I think it's just kind of getting people more informed and being prepared to to bring in this, this new system of currency. I agree. I mean, uh, I mean, imagine knowing nothing about crypto at all. And then hearing on the news that people made a, you know, ten thousand percent return by investing in Dogecoin, right? Then people w- want to know more, and then they learn about crypto. Oh, oh, wait, what? What is Bitcoin? What? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. this also exists. What? Why do people want to use it? Oh, it's decentralized. So, 
I agree that you know Deutschkon is is just a joke, but uh, it is used for uh, to get the attention uh, to crypto, and I think that the, the crypto that's going to be used uh, during the Antichrist time is is Bitcoin alone, and maybe uh, maybe one more. But it could be Doge. I hate to say it. I'm not nah. saying go and dump your investments into it. It could be. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, no, nah, it think won't. So? Nah. It won't. It doesn't have the ability. What's interesting about Bitcoin, I found, is that it's uh, decentralized. So there's no trusted third party. Like there's no bank to issue it. It just it exists. Somebody built it, or some Satoshi Nakamoto, somebody that they people say don't even know who they, it is, but somebody built this software. And like because it's so widespread and all these different parties are uh, like their interests are like intertwined. So they can't really like can't commandeer the system and create more and drive up demand and stuff. Like the money supply is sort of fixed in a way. There's, there's only 21 million Bitcoins. There's an unlimited amount of Dogecoin. So it's just a, true. kind of the same problem with the US dollars. They would just want to print more. Well, you know, and then they're gonna print more. The same with uh, is with uh, Doge coin. They they want more Doge. Well, they they can just make more, uh, kind of print more. But with Bitcoin, there's there's 21 million. There cannot be more. So that's why mm -hmm. people are eager to own at least one. Because if you look at the amount of people that are in the world, well, if you own one Bitcoin and that's the only crypto that ever will exist. You're going to be very rich, like extremely rich. Like, like mm. I, I think if you um, take it in today's uh, currency, you're going to be like a uh, multimillionaire, like tens of millions of dollars you would have today if you own one Bitcoin uh, when Bitcoin is the only currency on the market. So that's why people are so interested in Bitcoin. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I was just uh, doing some research, especially in scripture, about uh, I, I believe that there will be a certain order in thing in uh, in what will happen next. Um, and what you said earlier, Bjorn, about uh, just holding uh, fiat money, uh, even Jesus himself said, uh, "Thou oughtest therefore to have put thy money to the exchangers." And then at oh, my God. coming, I should have received mine own with usury. Oh, I mean, banks that oh. aren't, aren't they going into negative? Uh, what's the English word? Like if you hold your money in a bank, they're they're not going to increase it. It used to be like eight percent a year, but now it's going to be negative, right? What, what's that word in English? Yeah, interest rate. Yeah, interest. It's going to be negative. So I don't believe it's talking about banks here. I, I believe it's talking about some type of investors. Uh, people that exchangers, invest. because it uh, specifically, I think banks is found in scripture. So I think you're right. The exchangers. Good find. Yeah. Good find. I'm loving it. That's awesome. Which is I mean, completely different than what the governments are wanting planning to come out with now you read the papers on their um, like bank of canada website you know federal reserve website etc and they're planning these um central bank digital currencies which are similar but they're controlled right so it'd be like the fiat money but on electronic electronic grid and and uh observable and measure you know they can see everything and get their tax dollars electronically and that kind of stuff oh, yeah, so okay. i think that's coming alongside the Bitcoin where it's like free nobody owns it yeah. You know, but bank is only mentioned in uh, Luke nineteen twenty three as a as a bank, but every other time it's mentioned it's like a bank of the river. Just oh, one second. Oh, sure. That's interesting, Michael. So that's what's going to keep the nations being strung along is uh, that fiat money being uh, taken away. Would that be taken away from the banks then? Like with the with the uh, you know, our local banks be put out of business at that point? Or are they no, still going to mediate? The local banks, um, 
are like a sub ledger of the central bank. So the central banks print this money. That's not money we use. That's money that goes to the commercial banks, okay. the personal commercial banks. And then that's the reserves, right? So they have like the federal reserve in the United States, bank, Canada, central banks around the world. They, they print this money. They, and then the government, um, sorry, that money goes to the commercial banks, like say RBC and CIBC and these kind of TD and that kind of stuff in Canada. And then, that money we don't get to touch. That's like bank money, but it helps them do their accounting when they're exchanging amongst themselves with the different banks, settling accounts, settling things at the end of the day and stuff, interbank loans and things. But then the deposit money that we go in with and we take out and use and spend and earn and stuff, that's uh, like a different type of money is backed by that other reserve money that they print and circulate. So it's going to be a type of, um, um, I don't want to say, I don't know, because I don't know what cryptocurrency the definition is, but it's going to be similar to it because now it's all digital. Yeah, a little bit different than like your your bank card where you, you might just tap your bank card or or put it in the ATM or, uh, or like use a, a Visa debit card online or something. So that's all electronic anyway, but it's going to be actual, the accounts themselves are going to be, only like only uh that like there's no option for cash it's just a digital account basically where they don't have have like that um cash side of it in the united states i heard they were talking about getting accounts that link right to the federal reserve instead of through the uh, like commercial banks but i don't know what's going to happen what there for? i don't know the purpose of it if it's just uh to cut I actually don't know. Yeah, maybe it's wild though. It's uh that Bitcoin's really something different. It's like it's uh it's it seems to me anyway, from what I've what I've read and learned is just that like how nobody can own it and just because there's limited supply, it's gonna increase in value because it's a store of value like gold is. Like you can't just go dig up a whole bunch of more gold if you wanted to. You could, but it's expensive to do that, right? And Bitcoin mining is very expensive too with the computers and the technology that's needed to, and the mining process, all the electricity and hardware that goes into it. And I was so thinking can't... as well, the, uh, <laughs> like how, how you want to mine Bitcoin is like you, you need a computer and you run, you need to run a program that runs different algorithms, uh, right? So, I mean, why do they need to solve these um, uh, math problems? I was thinking because if the uh, image of the antichrist is going to be AI, it, it, it's it's going to it needs to be very smart, right? So it needs to, um, you know, have the knowledge and uh, have the understanding about the different math problems. And I don't know. I, I would just find it interesting that these miners are just uh, kind of exponentially growing computer knowledge. That that's basically what they're doing. So if the mm. image of the antichrist is going to be AI driven, right? Or, and maybe even a mark of the beast, it's going to be so smart. It's just going to be in, in control of everything. And mm. I just found that interesting. That is, mm. that is true, right? Because they have that incentive to grow their um, ability to mine more, mine faster, solve these problems math problems faster because that that's their incentive if they can solve it they can yeah get a coin or like make a block have it's you great. heard of uh, quantum computing i've heard of it i don't know uh, like much about it other than somehow zeros and ones can be in the same spot at the same time i don't actually know how that would ever work because to me it seems like binary is like true false on off zero one that's like what computers are like really about right under the hood but I don't really understand yeah. what they're talking about. Zeros and ones can be in the same spot at the same time. I never really could understand. Yeah. That. So you know, currently we have computers in, and it works with bit, a bit, right? D different bits. So what a bit is is a combination of a, a one and a zero, either or. So in total, you ha only have four combinations. So one one, zero zero, zero one, and one zero. Those are the only combinations possible with a computer. So it's a computer's only input and output. Now with quantum computing, 
it is the exact same, but instead of having the combination zero zero, the only uh, two uh, possibilities still are the, the number zero and number one, but you can have on the left side, you can have 40% uh, zero and 60% zero, and the other number can be 50% uh, zero and another 50% zero. So there's an unlimited amount of oh. combinations. Does mm. that make sense? Well, it's like a, it's not ones and zeros anymore. It's like fractions of one and zero for each yeah. bit. For each bit, it's yeah. not a one so, so or a zero. Yeah, Water so it, off, it still is a one and a zero, but it's part of a one and part of another one. So, you know, if you have here a uh, uh, a one, it can be forty and sixty, or it can be thirty and seventy or 99.999 and 0 0.0001. Like the, so there's an unlimited amount of uh, combinations. So that's what quantum computing is, which is, is extremely uh, powerful if they can fix that. And that's why I was thinking, because computers today are input and output, but the, the image that is uh, able to be uh, become alive. Alive is not just input and output. Uh, alive is actually thought and understanding. So it's not going to be input and output. So just a computer that can speak. I mean, speakers they, they can't speak. Uh, they, they just uh, put out what was put in. But the image of the beast is actually going to be able to speak. Like they, they can think, they they're not just gonna say what what the input was. No, they they can actually think themselves, and I think just that's like, quantum computer and AI combined. But it's still creation, it's like the right? image of of, of the You're invisible going? god. Sorry, I just wanted to bring that that term, image of the invisible god, as well. That's like a copycat again. Yeah, Jesus had his own will like you're describing, they're going to have their own thought process. But it's yeah, still the image the of that. Antichrist is, right? It's just a uh, replacement, uh, what Satan wants. It's just going to be exact same. Uh, you know, the first beast born in uh, Bethlehem, uh, you know, he's going to fulfill all the scriptures because he, he needs to, that, to do that for the Jews. He's going to fulfill all those scriptures. Um, so... Yeah, it's just the exact same as Jesus Christ, but it's going to be the Antichrist, Satan manifest in the flesh, the, the son of perdition. It's interesting, too, how God made man in his own image, and man worshipped God. And now, you know, not us, but like sinful man, um, when the Antichrist is ushered in, you know, making an image, in the image yeah. of man, probably, AI, you know, they have these talking robots in this, how they are getting smarter, quote unquote, smarter and smarter with their, how much data points they can get and how they can react. And even with their faces, the robots faces can, you know, it's just going to get smarter and smarter until they can have something that looks like a, the image of oh, a yeah. man, you know, man created man and uh, the robot in his image. And then they'll worship that, you know, it's, it's the opposite, like I said. Yeah. And, and that's what uh, this is what I was looking earlier. You know, a computer oh, yeah. is just input and output only. So you put something in, you type uh, something on your keyboard, and it's an output, and it, it, it gets displayed on the on the screen. And that's all a computer is. That's what all these talking robots are. But the 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 beast is gonna give uh, be able to give life onto the mm -hmm. image of the beast. Mm -hmm. That's not just input and output. No, and that's, that's actually that. actual life. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. just a, a whole uh, an, a whole other level. Um, but, but yeah, I, I believe it's still gonna, you know, use AI and use quantum computing and all that, all that stuff, but just giving life and just put uh, input and output is just, Different levels. Kurt, let me ask you: this. Do you think yeah. you think they um you think they've had that technology for a while, or is something that they just continue? I mean, I know they've continually worked on it, but 
I'm pretty sure when Bill Gates and his whole crew created a computer, they were probably already thinking about it. And, you know, probably maybe even discovered it already. And, you know, that's, you know, do you think it's, it's, it's here and ready? Oh yeah. Uh, or it's like every, I, mean, I don't know when they started, but I mean, you know, people call them visionaries for a reason. I mean, they, they think decades mm -hmm. ahead, right? So, and, and Satan does for sure. So he, he's already, he's mm -hmm. looking for people who, who he can use. Bill Gates, who, who invented the computer and all that. He's, he was like, well, I, I can use this technology to, you know, use Bitcoin as a payment. And now he, he has Microsoft work on this patent 060606 with a, a you know the cryptocurrency payment so i mean i don't know when they started but you know the, the someone was thinking about it whether it be satan mm -hmm. or a, or the person himself but yeah i so, don't know i wanted to just add to that i believe that satan is having these conversations with these big players maybe that's what I believe. Yeah. I mean, he, either he's having these conversations directly or they're being possessed to do the work. And Satan is speaking to these spirits that are, that are essentially possessing these men that have sold their soul for the power and the money um, to bring all this prophecy to take place. But I don't think that the man, that man is just coming up with this within themselves. I believe that it's coming from an outside force, from the spirit realm. I yeah. mean, yeah, the Satan went straight for thing. Jesus. When he was fasting, when he was weak, he went straight for Jesus when he was weak. And we offered him up, you know, you, you can have all this, this power and, and, and that. And that's what I believe is taking place is people are trading out their soul to have all the power. I mean, that's what the warlocks are, right? That they, they speak with uh, with devils and witches. They they actually exist and they speak with uh, satanic powers, devils. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spirit but also, you know, I mean, the, the world also has a lot of wisdom, right? Uh, and it's foolishness with God, but it's still it's still worldly wisdom. I mean, just like um, the pyramids in uh, in in Egypt, they didn't build themselves. Like, it, there's a lot of calculations with that, and it's crazy how how uh, how they point at certain stars and all that. And I mean, mm -hmm. someone came up with that. So, yeah, I, I don't know who is who is talking with with uh, Satan directly, but I don't think his his circle is that that big. Right, maybe <laughs> he's not talking to 100 people. I don't believe that. Maybe one or maybe two. And, and then there's a hierarchy. Mm -hmm. uh, you have like these uh, Roth, the Rothschild family, right? That, that old guy, he looks crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, he's definitely possessed. Yeah. All these they they either family. have a lot of power or a lot of money or both. Yeah, he's maybe talking with the heads of the family, and then they, you know, they delegate the work that was given to them to their, uh, to their family members, and then they speak with other banks and that. But I don't believe that Satan, his circle, is like a thousand people. Mm -hmm. You know, when people get mm -hmm. into the music business, I don't believe mm -hmm. that. Uh, you know, who, who, whosoever, uh, Kendrick Lamar is talking with Satan directly. I don't believe that. That, that just can't be. Well, you know, the enemy, he, he wants to mimic God. So God delegates, you know, and all of that. And he has people doing his work. So, you know, he's going to try to do the same thing. Yeah. I mean, just like, you know, God spoke through the prophet to David. Mm -hmm. Just one person. He spoke through the prophet. I think that Satan does the same. I don't think he speak to speaks to Bill Gates and the bankers, and you know Trump and my prime minister. Well, you know, mm, it's just a very that's a good uh, point. very high hierarchical um, structure. 
Well, that's a good point. They, they may be talking to other spirits, right? Just like Satan yes. has his devils, and there's a hierarchy there. Mm -hmm. they, they might be, you know, they might be uh, talking which, uh, with with uh, as a warlock, throw warlock with uh, other high spirits in high places. Um, but I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not familiar in that world, and I'm. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I'm not. That's that's an interesting point, and just like God had, you know, as as the prophets would die, or you know, he would move on and choose the next one. So it'd be interesting to see, you know, who would he be talking to? You know, I mean, I wonder who it could be. I mean, Samuel. He could be Samuel in talks with the end. Samuel yeah. spoke to David. Samuel spoke to uh, citizens, right? He, he cursed uh, children. <laughs> Satan has uh, his kingdom too. Jesus said, um, talked yeah. about Satan's kingdom and if mm -hmm. divided against itself. So, I mean, Amen. probably there are different levels of authority in Definitely. Satan's kingdom that would uh, talk. And also, to uh, that to sure. Spirits and principalities is it layers like, you know, princes. Ones that princes then you have the yeah and this type yeah. there's levels for sure i was reading here uh in pergamos people say it's in uh, in turkey that's where satan's seat is i wonder if, he, if he's still there today he's, he uh, has to walk no i found it's interesting you know he could only lie right so when he went to god and said in the book of job you know god asked him where he's been I'm paraphrasing, obviously, but he said he was walking back and forth uh, throughout the earth, roaming to and fro or walking up and down it. Mm -hmm. So was that Satan? Was he lying to God there? And because he has a seat, right? So was that well, a lie he, or was he actually walking and uh, traveling let, there? Let me ask this. Can Satan, do you, do you believe that Satan only lies or is he the father of lies? No, I think he can only lie. Is the scriptures? Uh, where is I'm trying to find one? that. Yeah, let me just search for that. I don't think that it's like. I, I, obviously, he is a liar because once he lies, that's it. I think I if it were a lie, it the word would say it. Yeah, that's what I What's thought. That? I read it in the scriptures. So. If, if, if the if the if it were a lie, I think the word would say it. That's yeah. That was my next point. Yeah, is that God would have corrected? Um, on yeah, that. he kind of think he knows he can't lie to God. Him. Yeah, because he didn't lie when he said, well, "I want to be like the Most High." Mm -hmm. Says uh, there is no truth in him. When he speaketh no a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, yeah. and the father of it. And and if that would have just if that would have just okay, say it was a lie, but that it was placed in the Word. That's a lie that is in the Word of God, and we know the Word cannot lie. So mm -hmm. even if it is something deceptive, this being said. I, I think it doesn't have a place in the word. So God would, he would distinguish it. But I agree. I don't think that he, he can't get away with anything for God. Mm -hmm. He can't. I mean, he can try to hide it and he hid those thoughts in his heart. And that's what happened is God called him out for what was in his heart. He didn't even let it be known. And so he knows that God knows everything he's thinking. Um, and that what was written in Job was written for our sakes. When he asked of Satan where he had been, he didn't have to ask him because he knew darn well. Mm -hmm. And it was written for our sakes that that dialogue was written. So, yeah, I believe you're right, Patrick. He would have been corrected that he was lying, that he was not walking to and fro, and that he was you know, flying around, flapping his wings, whatever it was, you know, going to and fro instead of walking. It seems that he was limited to walking yeah but i just had that in my head from uh, john eight forty four. but it doesn't uh, specifically say say in john eight forty four that you know he, he can only lie so that must have just been my uh my yeah. what i was thinking about john for eight forty four. and if we apply like what the definition of a liar is it's just all it takes is one lie yeah that's true so we're yeah yeah all men are liars yeah yep you know, there was no there was no lies until Satan until Satan you know he's Golly. the founder. Well, no. story. Uh, yeah, no, that's right though. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a, it's a, it's the blemish. 
to yeah, accept the, the lust one, right? of your yep. father, you will do. So the, the lust of the father of their father is to lie. So that's what he wants. He wants to lie and deceive. That's what he wants. Oh, I said the thief come only but for to steal and to kill and destroy. So that's yeah, it doesn't say about lying there either. And yeah, to just think about uh, how the word it you know God um, his word equips us. You know, if he says uh, what's the wise of the devil, handle to salvation, like you know, he's gonna make sure that we are we know how to to um, uh, prepare, uh, uh, be cautious, you know, protect us, you know, like, so. Okay, so there's no camera or any of that stuff, eh? Hmm? There's no um, webcam for it and all that. Oh, is that oral? It's exam, but it's not, there's no, um, it's like there's no camera and there's no shutdown browser and all that stuff. Be on the lookout for somebody joining. I don't, I'm just saying so we're, 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 we're God study. All right, brother. I got a sound on uh, when example. someone joins. Oh. <clears throat> so, look what it says here Shew me the tribute money, and they brought unto him a penny, and he saith unto them, Whose is the image and superscription? I didn't even know it said image earlier. Um, they say unto him, it's uh, Caesar's. Then saith he unto them, render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. So I mean, uh, I don't know, uh, created their own crypto, right? That the yuan crypto in China. Sure, are you there? I can see your image. <laughs> there he is. I'm good. Is that in China, Kurt? You're talking about? Yeah, in in China they they got the yuan, right? The yuan crypto. But I was just uh, thinking, if the name of Yesh, uh, the enterprise is Yeshua, then it's uh, with a Y. So maybe you know the yuan. It's with a Y. That's it. That's that superscription. Mm. But I don't know. I mean, even the the image that is on the the Bitcoin, right? The the B. Who mm -hmm. who created that? I mean, no one owns Bitcoin, so they can just change that. If if Microsoft with their patent just only allows Bitcoin, they might be able to change that image into the literal image of the beast. That's the only thing people can say, uh, see. Maybe it will say 666, I don't know. Maybe That's both. Possible. Just gotta step away for a second, I'll be listening here. I'm Three gonna minutes. go to the restroom as well. All right. But, um, I mean, just like Kale said earlier about um, uh, wh why would they reinvent the wheel? Because I was thinking maybe they will create their own crypto, but I don't think so. There, there are too many people familiar right now. Who's they, Kurt? Who do you mean by they? Um, Microsoft. Oh, I see it. Because they're working on this technology where you can fulfill certain tasks, and then if you uh, have done it, then you can receive crypto. So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what it, that will be Bitcoin or maybe Ethereum because Ethereum works with uh, small contracts. So if you fulfill something, like for example, I tell you to watch this, uh, this video on my YouTube channel. And then if you have watched it fully, then I will send you this amount of uh, coins. And that's basically what the uh, the Microsoft patent says and, and will do. If Microsoft makes their own coin that's tradable for goods in the economy, you know, um, if it's not backed, would it be backed by just fiat currency, right? Because you'd buy it with your cash 
and then trade it online just convenience like another way to shop and trade but could you pay taxes with it like is it sort of at the end of the day when the government wants their taxes is it is it just another form of uh like microsoft or like bitcoin if microsoft was to do it you know what i mean like it's bitcoin is an entity into itself it's not tied to any gold or us yeah. dollars and it's not it just is what it is and the price of it's based on the demand and it's not owned by anybody but if microsoft came out with a coin of their own wouldn't that just be something that sort of was tradable and like you like you could buy things if it was in demand and people used it as a unit of account and store value like you could trade with it if other people wanted to but at the end of the day you still kind of got to get those euros or us dollars or whatever country you're in to pay those taxes and satisfy caesar and well um i mean on the ledger right i mean let's take bitcoin for example you can see every transaction of bitcoin that that's public so if you send money yep. to another uh key then I can see this tra that transaction. The whole world can see that transaction. Yeah. It's uh, like transparent. So yeah. we, we can see what money uh, politicians uh, send and receive from certain corporations. You can just see that. It's public. Everyone can see that. And that's why I said that I believe that the Antichrist is going to be a man of the people because people don't trust their government. Uh, they, they don't trust these banks, so it's just going to be a, a great way to be transparent with 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 the people. You know, that's what he's going to say. That's what I think. Um, so, and, and that's why paying taxes when if crypto is the world currency, that's why it's it's really easy because it's fully transparent. You can see uh, when it was sent, and you can see how much was sent. And that's public so governments can know uh, and everyone can know everyone can see how much money you owe the government because it will be sent from your uh, work uh, ledger your your work yeah. key to your private key so the government can see that and say oh well we'll take 40 percent of that which is different than Bitcoin because the Bitcoin private keys are actually private. It's my understanding. Like you can have a private key and make transactions and yeah, they're on the ledger and they're visible to everybody, but not nobody has to know you, you yourself made those transactions. Yeah. Yeah. And that's right. And that's the, you know, Bitcoin is actually great. Like the, the idea of Bitcoin is great. Uh, blockchain is also really good. It, it can be used for a lot of good things. Just like money can, but Satan uses money for for bad. People use money for bad, but it's it's inherently good, um, and it's like one of those uh, one of the problems with Bitcoin. If you have a ledger, right? For example, the Ledger Nano S, which is very popular. If you lose your key uh, or like the password attached to it, which you have you have to write down. Or someone hacks it, someone steals it, someone comes to know your key, then you're in big trouble because you lost all your money, right? Yeah. So wh what they are researching right now is how to make it more secure. And that's why this whole uh, bio uh, security is coming, you know, step for step. I mean, I have an, here an iPhone 11. Right, I it recognizes my face already. Earlier, I had a, an iPhone Seven, and and I used a fingerprint. But next, with the with the Microsoft patent, they will just use your DNA. I mean, people can steal your uh, fingerprint. If they hack Apple, they can uh, steal your face ID, but they cannot hack your DNA. So that's the, the one thing. I saw that on Wells Fargo the other day, actually. Yeah, th that's the one thing why Wells people Fargo will accept uh, the, the mark of the beast. Because it, it is the only way to keep your money safe. 
you you don't uh, ne no longer need this passport that you have to be uh, have written down and laid away in a uh, in a uh, uh, in a safe place where no one can find it because the but, only yeah. way you can pay is with, is, uh, with your own body that's the only way you're going to be able to pay mm -hmm. literally and, Especially, and, you know, you see so many um, stories in the news and media about uh, data breaches and yeah, um, people losing billions of dollars in Bitcoin or billions of dollars, yeah. billion, millions and millions and millions of dollars through exchanges uh, being compromised or hacked or yep. uh, scams or whatnot. Yeah, and and on the on these exchanges, hackers can actually hack the exchangers, right? They can hack on Binance and and take all the uh, money that is on Binance. Only if you have it like in a USB port and take it out, then it's cold storage. That, that's yeah. what it's called. I was going to use it. So uh, cold storage it, um, is the only safe way. But if the USB breaks, or um, you know you lose it, or it gets stolen, then you lost all of your money. So there's only one secure way that Bitcoin will go through, and that is with like literal body identification with your own DNA, because that cannot be stolen. That makes so much sense. I mean, could, could you imagine having like 10,000 Bitcoins? Some people have that, like, because they started really early. And when Bitcoin is brought, uh, you know, use universally, then uh, they can uh, only access that money and want and keep it safe by accepting the mark of the beast, which is going to be able to keep their money safe, unhackable. That's going to be more than more more than half the world, <laughs> or whoever. Yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. Whoever right I am. Yeah. Whoever we got a yeah. we got a credit card. Mm -hmm. And you have to uh, remember the, the pin code, but that's not really safe because people can hack the pin code. Mm -hmm. They can and, and come to find out and use it. But if if your actual body get attached to every transaction you make, your DNA get attached to every transaction, then it's just unhackable. And that's why people will think it's safe. And this man of the people is going to tell people to take the mark. You know, why not? Why not take it? Oh. You got to remember, too, it's uh, it all happens at once, right? It's millions of people disappearing in the world mm -hmm. or be being caught up. People are going to see us. It's going to be like an alien invasion. You think it's going to be a million people? Oh, well, no, with the... Well, that's a good the, point. A million people? Who knows, right? <laughs> I mean... Because the, the people that are dead... I mean... Their bodies are already physically deteriorated, most of them. So will you just see that incorruptible form going up? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I, we looked at this earlier, and uh, yeah, we did, but I forgot. With the two witnesses, remember that? Mm. I gotta go, brethren. But uh, good study. Thanks for the fellowship. Thanks, brother. Mike. Likewise, God is good. Man. Yeah, because you know what, when you, you think for, about uh, joining, when you think about angels taking on flesh and doing all that, I I think they'll I think they will, for sure. So all the dead first, and then who that are people that are alive? Yeah. Well, here it is. Um, the the two witnesses. So, <clears throat> um, so the two witnesses, and if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, 
that is rain that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will people you know they they uh they don't like corona but <laughs> there's gonna be a lot a lot of other plagues um let's see I think it's here yeah in 11 and 12 and after three days uh, and a half the spirit of life from god entered into them and they stood up uh, upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them so just like the the witnesses are going to be seen by their enemies i believe that people will see the the church being caught up and that they're going to uh, behold us they're going to see us mm -hmm. being caught up revelation 11 11 12 yeah yeah Amen. I wish the brothers yeah. would have posted some of their questions in the actual group so if they couldn't join that would have, you know you could have addressed it. Yeah. I'm gonna move my laptop real quick. All so right, I'll be uh, right back. Okay, don't disconnect. Nope. <laughs> the mystery of the gospel. Yeah, I've been having a good study, huh? Oh, I was just about to hit him with the gospel. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> the mystery of the gospel is that God was manifest in the, in the flesh through his son, Jesus Christ. He came unto his own. His own received him not. They knew him not. They crucified him. He was buried. He was physically dead three days, three nights. He rose again out of the heart of the earth, and he was seen by many above 500 witnesses. If you believe that, you have received it. You have received the Holy Spirit promise that you will be redeemed on the day of the Lord. So when it's your time, you will be caught up in the clouds that we just mentioned in Revelation 11, 12. Amen. 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 You've been, you've been on a lot of phone calls, BK. They got you busy today. You on mute. We can't hear you. You on mute. We want to hear you. You're on mute. <laughs> I really like that scripture that Kurt brought up Which about uh, about uh, the Lord, the the parable with the Lord um, leaving the money with the uh, servants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, money exchanges. Oh, yeah, he, he he expected them to 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 work with the exchangers, the money exchangers, and bring him some usury. Mm -hmm. To address your, mam your mammon question, yeah, I was I was referring to money specifically, um, but I now know for sure that, um, and I believe we've, we've studied that before. I may have just forgotten, but uh, mammon is uh, based 
on the word, it's uh, riches and material wealth. So if not specifically money, money could fall under mammon, but uh, mammon is not specifically money. Money is money. Mm -hmm. Ma mammon was spoke of um, four times, I think. Yeah, and it's spoken almost like like uh, it was a bad thing. Mm -hmm. so it's almost like that. Uh, yeah, four times. Yeah. So in Matthew 6, 24, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And I say unto you, make to yourselves, in Luke 6, 9, 69, make to yourselves friends of the mammon, of unrighteousness, that when ye fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitations. 1611, if there, for ye have not been faithful in the unrighteousness mammon, if therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? 1613, Luke, no servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Which I mean, make me think of, uh, you know, money is, is the answer to all things. Um, money isn't the only thing that people, you know, want to attain to feel as if they have power or worth or value. So mammon is like more inclusive to just riches. And, you know, someone may want a big house or a nice car or, uh, you know, but it's always in uh, contrast with true riches or with everlasting habitation or um, God, you know, so it's either God or mammon. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think that having a nice house and having a nice car is, is considered mammon. You don't think, I mean, true riches riches having wealth and you know having there's nothing wrong with having wealth um there's nothing wrong with being rich what you're saying yeah. was, uh, i mean there was a disciple that was uh that was rich yeah but i, I think it's the wisest, just, man, it, the wisest man that ever lived was, was do you also, value it or do you you know do you value that over god that's what it is. Uh -huh. So, if you're rich and you do, and you're wise and you can make earn to make money, I mean, where is your heart? Is your heart after God, or is your heart after the 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 lust of uh, owning and buying these things? Mm -hmm. You can only serve one master. Absolutely, I don't think it's wrong to if you have money. To buy something nice, um, you know. I mean, at what point do we determine that what is what is uh, nice and what is what is acceptable? You know, at what what scale? You know, is a uh, is a well, brand it's new it's a heart. considered a nice car, or is it a Bugatti considered a nice car? You know, I mean, it's yeah. all based on what's going on in your heart. Yeah. So. Yeah, God looks at a heart. They reach our heart. It's all, it's all heart focused. So, you know, if that is uh, setting precedence over God, then you're not in a good place. Yeah. And I, yeah, I actually made that, um, you know, as humbly as I could. I mean, because we all want it. We all want, you know, nice things. We all want to be able to live comfortably or whatever but you know my my prayer for for a while has been you know that I don't want that to overtake you know my position and my belief in with God and you know how I serve him you know so it's just a, uh, it's just a, a check you know it puts you in check you know yeah, I mean, 
because God will God will give you. I mean, God can give you over to those things, or He can take it away from you. To you know, He can give it to you or take it away to to teach you or whatever. I mean, this could be the unbeliever or believer, but. Yeah, I don't think it's a number, really. Like at the end of the day, it's not a number um, that is defining the serving of mammon. There's people that are broke and poor that serve mammon. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it. Really, that, <clears throat> That's the point. That, <laughs> I just saw I mean? seven people in my head. It, it does that. What's that? I, I I got like seven people in my head, right? Yeah, the top they're serving the mammon, but they're broke. You know, yeah. they might even have a nice car from credit. Mm -hmm. You know, they're broke, though. They're serving them. Um, they want to weed and, you know, do they drink. And the reason I want money is uh, based solely off of uh, providing for my family and providing for, you know, Lord willing, my, my child or children will have children. And it says that good man would leave an inheritance for his children's children to provide security. Um, and you can buy, you can buy time, you know, you can solve, you can, you can answer all things with money. So, you know, um, for it's, it's, it's all Treat me the tribute mammon. The, <laughs> yeah. The tribute mammon. I mean, the tribute mammon would be the, a tribute to probably Satan. If you're if you're chasing after Mammon, uh, it seems you know. I'm trying. You know, again, I don't want to. I don't. I don't like. I I'm recently we've tried to kind of define these words, and I and I appreciate that we're trying to step away from defining them unless God defines them. Amen. So just try to. Just we just we just be cautious with our words, and so we just we hang on every word, and we use them as God uses them. And at the end of the day, we can all we can we can discern what it isn't. And that's one of my favorite approaches. Amen. I miss preaching to the people. I want to. I've been working too much. I'm like God, and you gotta work, bro. I'm not wrong make, with working, man. There's a to time make some lemon over here. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with working it's time to work it's time to work or you know the saying i like the saying uh if it make hay when the sun's shining right i mean when there's time to capitalize when you're getting when it's the busy season for myself if i don't capitalize this during this busy season if i do capitalize then the rest of the year goes well because now i have all these new connections where i can sell them more work so you know there's sacrifices that have to be made, but yes, God, God should be first. You should always be reading your Word of God daily. You should be preaching daily. But nothing wrong with working hard and building up, um, building up treasures in heaven, and 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 being financially responsible and and responsible to your family. I think the best way to labor is to do it. You know, um, do it in the Lord. You know, because because. I mean, we can rejoice at the end of it when we when we live with the Lord and we're we're working. You know, our particularly for the Lord. You know, um, is there a scripture to support that? <laughs> Every, yeah, we should do everything on, unto the Lord heartily. Mm -hmm. So we do. Was um, I was watering my potatoes today and. I was thinking about my just how just to consistently, you know, make sure the upkeep is keep it there, and it just kind of applied to everything, like all across. You know, you got to work. Like everything is a job. You know, I mean, if you if you stop in whatever aspect, you're not gonna have yield. You're not, gonna, you know, have harvest. You're not gonna, you know, so. You're gonna like, reap what you sow. Yeah, we we we're going we're yeah. gonna have to, so get in a good position, and that position should be in the Lord Jesus Christ, because then you won't feel like you're working. You know, I mean, you, you could feel like you're working, but um, yeah, is this a better place to be when you're working for the Lord? I mean, I, I'm I'm like I'm driven by the responsibility that I have to my family, to my son as well, like. He's got his whole life ahead of me, you know. 
I'm, I, oh, finances yeah. and business all interest me. I love it. And uh, what I look forward to is, you know, him getting that understanding and wisdom at a young age that God gave me, you know, late in my years, he gave me that understanding. I didn't have, I thought life was pointless up until believing. I thought it was all pointless mm -hmm. and purposeless. And now we can, uh, by God's grace, I have a son that I can raise up in the way that he should go, train him up. And that, um, you know, he can have an opportunity to do whatever it is that he wants to provide for his family or and not be kind of, I don't know, stuck in this rat race that they, you know, so-called rat race where you're just, you're trying to just make rent or you're trying to just make, you know, your payments and all that. That, that to me, that's, that's frustrating. Yeah. And God will bless his children and he's, and he's doing that, you know, for, for me. And I'm, I'm sure, you know, any of the other strong brothers blessing them and he will provide that opportunity for everyone. You know, all that chance, uh, time and chance happens to them all. And to be a blessing, to be a blessing to other people, you know, and to know that uh, the way in which you give is the, the measure that, that God will give to you um, is, is beautiful. So I, I, I love being able to bless other people, you know, and um, give and, you know, do all of that. What I, what I love you know, already being on a farm, on a homestead, living off a thousand dollars a month, absolutely. Because that's happening to me, you know. Whereas before, yeah. you know, I wanted to achieve all my, you know, I pretty much achieved everything I wanted. But you know, looking back, it's just really. I mean, it's all, it's all vain. I mean, it's vanity. So you know, so you want to get um, yourself a homestead. I want to get a homestead. Like even now, like I'm already thinking about, you know, I used to give uh, little bags of vegetables to my neighbor. So, you know, I have my little gift bag that I do every week, and, you know, I give them yeah. two, two, two zucchini, a couple, you know, and put a little scripture in there. Jesus is the way to, two. you know, I, I, I like doing stuff like that, you know, because I have I mean, more I wouldn't, give them, I wouldn't give them the written word, but, but yeah, I, I know what you're saying. You're giving, I, man. That, but I'm just like, uh, What's that? I, I, I thought about that. I don't know whether I want to actually. Um, I'm not supposed to get the written word of God. Yeah. You know what I yeah. preach it? Just, yeah, only preach it. That's your job is to sow the seed. You're the sower. At all, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give them scripture. That's not going to get anyone anywhere. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's only for us. We, that's why we share scriptures during text, and it can be edifying. Yeah. No. But. We still we still do stuff that we're not supposed to, and not you me. know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, hard here. So, no, I know. Yeah, I had to deal with uh, a vaccine talk topic today. Mm -mm. My mom and my sister, <clears throat> my sister called me today, basically saying, "Have you talked to mom yet?" She's going for a vaccine tomorrow. Can you please talk to her? Or, you know, have you talked to her yet? I'm like thinking, man, I've, we've already talked to her. You know, I don't need to go beat a dead horse. And we started getting into discussion and ended up, you know, pre having an opportunity to preach to her. And it's funny. I'm like, I, I talked to her. She listens. She listens. And then I ask questions to get a little bit out of her. Eventually, it's like, okay, I've reached my limit. I'm like, okay. I'm like. I'm like, doesn't this remind you of, I'm like, if you try, if you're going to try to push someone to a point, you're trying to push, push mom into not taking this, push someone to a certain point and they're going to not want to even, you know, you can't push them. You can't force them to believe it, change their mind. I said, the same thing's happening with me and you right now. I said, I keep pushing this word and you keep pushing me back. So the same thing's happening with you trying to talk mom into, you know, saving her life here on earth. I said, I said, it's the same thing I'm doing with you. Is what I'm worried about eternal life, not you know, not worried about now per se, for for your life here on earth. I'm, I don't care, you know, as much for the vaccine. If you don't believe, you're in trouble. Amen. That's the immunization you need, the, the everlasting life That's immunization cool. by believing. Because you know, so, I mean, it, the fact of the matter is, they may never, they may never, they may never. Uh, 
they may they well it is our hope it's always our hope they may they well it is our hope and they probably most likely in hope will become believers but when you're when you're talking anything subsidiary to that living a godly life living like i mean i think about my mom my mom i believe in my heart that she does that she is a believer but she has no interest in living the way that she should live according to God, you know, and that's something that I don't have to answer for. That's something that she has to answer for, you know. So, I mean, you're right. We should just be trying to talk to them about what what's important and and, li- and aligning it with that, you know, because yeah. Yeah. The all I saw when my sister called was okay. Here's another opportunity to talk to her. And I said, no, I'm not. I said, I wasn't planning on talking to her. I said, but since you're so, since you would really like me to make that conversation and call her, I'll do that for you. That's fine. Because um, she says she believes, right? My sister, no. Uh, your mom, she says she believes. My mom says she believes, yeah. She yeah. Uh, yeah, she says she believes, but she doesn't like to talk about it. So to me, that's a major red flag. Mm-hmm. You don't like to talk about it. You don't want to open your Bible and read one scripture verse. That's just a huge red flag for me. And so well, that, I don't. That don't, that don't mean she believes. It means that she probably, you know, keep in favor with her husband. So she loves to praise a man more than praise a God. You know, like those guys. So she may believe. Yeah. yeah. She may. She may. I have my doubts though. So I'm just being honest. <laughs> yeah. I just have my doubts. She's a nice lady. She is. She is. But now she's going to get that vaccine tomorrow, Kale. She's going to get out of this vaccine. She's going tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe you could call her up and talk some sense into her. <laughs> I'll try it with my father to see. Yeah. yeah. I, yep. And that's what I was telling my sister because my sister was the one who called me. She's begging and pleading with me to talk to my mom. And I said, look, I said, even. I said, my brothers are dealing with that, too, in our church. They're having to deal with it, too. And these are believers that have believing parents, and, and they're even struggling with it. I said, this is yeah. hard. Like, yeah. They're getting fear put into them. It's sad. Yeah. But, it's real. but the thing is, it's like we, we've looked at scripture on it, and We've studied it and see that's a lot of these believers just haven't really looked at it or studied it and they've been deceived. I mean, I probably would have done it had I, you know, not been a scripture, you know, like I used to go to these church. I mean, I would have just did what a pastor said, you know what I'm saying? It used to, it's one of those things where when you, when script, when you're not studied in script, scripture as well and you're following man, you know, then, uh, you you rather believe man who's the expert, you know, and you think you're doing the right thing. It's not like you think you're going against God. You think what well, their thought process is God put that expert there for you. Like that physician is there for you. The physicians use in scripture. So is it, but he's not talking about that physician, <laughs> you know, and so they think that it's for you. And, and so they think like, well, these Bible scholars are men of God and they, you know, we have to listen, you know, they put these pa- pastors on a pedestal, and so they take their word as the word of God when they really should be going straight to the word of God, and that's the problem. Well, if they stuff it down our throat long enough, like it's funny that you would say that. The uh, one of the weddings I did this weekend, the bride and a couple of bridesmaids were saying, you know, I feel I feel socially uh, judged because I really don't want to get the vaccine, but then. You know, I'm, I want to be able to travel to go to Greece for my honeymoon. And like, well, if it comes down to me traveling, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I, I really am scared of it. And it's like, I've kind of just been thinking about that all weekend. And that's why they're constantly put, putting it on banners that you see. You see it on YouTube, all the people chiming in. And, you know, it's like the more they can stuff it and put it in your face, they try to normalize it. So you even are like, well, uh, it's and, so, and and take away the true true uh, reasons why you shouldn't see since they don't have a reason why they think well I'm just not comfortable but it's actually scripturally wrong 
I mean, so if you actually had a strong reason why, you will stick your hands down and say no. And the scripture says, they that are whole need not a physician. Mm -hmm. So if you're whole and don't have COVID, you don't need a physician to give you a COVID vaccine. Amen. But so it's scripturally wrong, but they don't, people don't, they don't have a why not. They just, their why not is, oh, I don't, I feel scared. I'm not sure. But the longer they keep hearing these people got it and they promote it and promote it and all the information out there is being blocked that's opposing it, then yeah, people are going to start to just fall, believe that lie. Sad. Yep. And they're trying to just to guilt trip you into, well, if you're not taking the vaccine, you don't care about your neighbor, Kill. Oh, you yeah. You don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, the, the man-made church is built on guilt trip. That's how they get people to tithe. They guilt yeah. you into tithing money. <laughs> Is it, that's all they they based off of guilt, 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 guilt. Well, guilt is their favorite word. And mammon. Do you think? Do you think it'll be wrong of me to to go to the Walgreens or the PBS and get my little COVID test? But then I, you know, when the lady ain't looking like act like I'm putting it in my butt, and then just put it back in the so I can get on the Hawaii because I'm like, man, I'm really trying to get over to Hawaii before they mandate. You can't go there without you can't go there with a COVID vaccine to Hawaii. Is that a thing? You, you gotta yeah, be get your own boat. <laughs> oh, that's a long Swim. boat. They're not gonna let you on without the vaccine. They're not. They you have to get a COVID test within three days of you arriving in California. Oh, okay. And if not, right? if, if not, then you have to uh, you have to be quarantined. Which I guess I could just be quarantined. Well, be quarantined then. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Even, I've oh, never thought. Yeah, well, I, yeah, but you don't have to quarantine. That's not a law. You can, you can just. I mean, out here we're dealing with that too. Uh, that same kind of thing. And if you don't get the test done, they say you have to just go. Pay the fine. Just pay the quarantine a, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had that conversation. The fine is yeah. cheaper than uh, staying in quarantine, right? In the Most quarantine hotel. Places. Yeah. Yeah. It's Two thousand yeah. dollars up here. <laughs> So yes, the fine is cheaper, and then you Here don't even have to pay the fine. Because Money not, answer all things. Not yeah, take the fine. Money. Take the fine, and then fight the fine, and just follow through your due diligence on fighting the fine, and it, it'll fall apart because they can't. It won't hold up in a court of law because it's unconstitutional. It's against your freedoms. Well, I guess I'm the law. Next week. What's that? I'll be moving to Hawaii next week, then. Next, I thought you went to Cali. He, man, I, I, he all over the place, man. <laughs> come to Europe. Come up. Come on up to, to Canada, man. I got a truck with your name on it. No, okay. You can have. You got a truck all all winter with your name on it. You might have a big shovel on the front of it. Wait, I want to feel like I, I'm settled, man, and I, I just I don't I don't feel settled, so. I no. could do. There's probably a lot of weddings up there too. It's so cold. People ain't got nothing better to do but to get married up there. I mean. Oh man, the lockdowns. The lockdowns are terrible. The restrictions are terrible over here, man. Like, no one wants to. No one wants to. No one likes to break the rules. And there's new rules now coming up again. They just loosened them, and now they're uh, tightening up a little bit. Like they're locking down the Ontario border to the east of of me. They're locking it down, or they're trying to lock it down. Uh, the police are tweeting how they're not going to follow through, apparently. Um, but yeah, it's crazy up here. Mm. I would stay in the States, to be honest, for now. They're going to stop our uh, curfew. The man, I'm April glad we was able to get to up there for your wedding before all of this craziness, man. That was a great One experience. year. Yeah, mm. amen. One year we, we before. We got married. That was the Lord's will. What a blessing, hey? Amen. And then, shortly time after, we got to come and see your home, uh, you know, your home country and, and be to Cali. You know, that was a, I always wondered about California. I've been to Florida, but I always wanted to go to California. 
I mean, it's expensive and all, but totally worth the experience. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. With these uh, COVID passports, I think you have like three options. Either you're tested negative, like uh, Patrick said, within 72 hours of the parting, or you got to be vaccinated at least once, or you must have had COVID in the past and survived. So you got the antibodies. So as long as you can oh. prove that you have had COVID and... Uh, you know you're still alive <laughs> then uh nice so that's then, the trick just get you can travel yeah basically <laughs> and get tested <laughs> that's wild yep so so yeah i mean they're, they're not gonna uh, mandate the vaccine it's like they're they're not gonna mandate the beast but yeah most people will will just like well i'm gonna get the vaccine i'm gonna be invincible to this virus <laughs> it's like no yeah. no so um i never got tested till now so <clears throat> oh you did get tested no no no, i haven't yeah i think i think especially that deep test i think it's like putting some in in the people it, that's the speculation I've seen a video about them testing the test and finding something on the test. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, that's why it hurts because they actually pier piercing your body and putting something uh, in there. I don't believe it, it can be good for you. I mean, if you look at the, especially the nose uh, treatment, how far they go down your nose, there's no way that's good for you. Uh -uh. There's no way. I don't want it. <laughs> and even with these masks, right? They, first of all, they're, they're not medical masks. They use at a um, um, surgery. They're they're literally for show. But in your nose, you, you got nose hair and nose hairs. That's what God gave us, nose hairs. And they filter out like... 90% of diseases, like even more. I mean, the amount of viruses that you get every day, but they get filtered out by your nose hairs. That's our f filtration system, and that's our that's our God-given mask, kind of. Mm -hmm. Amen. I completely agree. Uh, you got a lot of these mouth-breathing uh, uh, guys. <laughs> I want to say a bad word, but... And yeah. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, sometimes I have a hard time breathing through my my nostrils. Um, so I, I do do the mouth breathing, but um, I uh, yeah, I want to, and it's all getting healthy. But sometimes I have to. I don't feel like, especially now with allergy season, it's been a little rough. But I think it's something you need to get used to because uh, especially if you always mouth breathe and then all of a sudden you breathe to your, through your nose, it's like you get half of the oxygen you usually get. Mm -hmm. Also notice when I'm running, like I can't go for a long run when I breathe, breathe uh, through my nose, just not enough oxygen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and you know, your nose actually um, regulates the air intake too, so you're not getting, you know, how some people hyperventilate or whatever, and they, you know, breathe through the mouth. Mm -hmm. The more I run, the the less that the less that happens. So then I will, like, the more I push myself to run when I am running, I can breathe through my nose more and more and more every time. But I know what you mean. Yeah. Man, I gotta research this quarantine thing. I forgot we even I was I, I was there that night we studied that too, and they didn't even dawn on me. And I could completely bypass the whole quarantine situation. So but you now, could also just take the just take the uh, fine. Take the fine. Yeah, I you could do that, yeah. I mean they can't send me to jail, so 
Exactly. They can't. Well, they're releasing people that are convicted criminals, like actual criminals, because of COVID. Mm. So they're not going to put someone like yourself, a, a law-abiding citizen, into jail for exercising your, your medical rights, your human rights, God-given rights. Yeah, I got to research that a little bit. Yeah. Now watch I mean, Patrick come back and be like, man, calling us collect. Just call us collect. You told me. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe you should go to Cali, somewhere close to Orange Don't County. Don't you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think people are going to jail yet. They, I know there was a guy in Canada that went to jail. Yeah, a pastor. Left on this call. <laughs> There was a there was a pastor who who was in jail uh, because he kept on uh, opening his church for service and allowing people in. He got thrown in jail and they kept him in there until he would agree to the terms and conditions that he wouldn't reopen and go to his church and preach again. And he would not agree, so they held him hmm. for a lot, quite a while. I think it was over a month or two. So how did they release him? He they just let his him go. He finally agreed. His day in court came. Oh, and good. Nothing to stand on, I guess. Yeah, but by that time, they already t took him a whole month in jail, messed him up. Away from his family and children and his wife and all that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what time is it? Oh, yeah, got to be there at 4 30. Let's see. What you got practice tonight? Every night he's got something going on. Hey, they yeah. won. Uh, Keep them busy. They won two championships this weekend Amen. and a game. Yes, the sir. Game, right? Amen. Good. Oh, that's good. They got that good bloodline. Yeah. The blood of Jesus. There you go. There you go. Mm hmm. And they playing two sports in one day, baseball and uh, basketball, yeah. huh? And he played. Yeah, he played. <laughs> working them, man. I just know he played two baseball games. It was doubleheader. Man. And then he played two championship <laughs> championship basketball games. So those other teams was coming at him trying to win it. So yeah, he was he was tired, but uh, yeah. <laughs> and they were back to back to back. To back. <laughs> so they really just running off endurance at that, at that point. Whoever whoever was the most uh, had the most endurance. I'm also, I'm always watching for a couple minutes on Facebook. It's <laughs> cheering. Yeah, that's really cool. Remind me of being young myself. My parent fed us and. Everything. Yeah. Hey, Bjorn, did you have any uh, more questions about the um, topic? Yeah. Or, uh... <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Um, so I know you have a channel of, regarding crypto and all that. And um, what, what kind of advice would you give based on your understanding? Um, for investing into the crypto or breaking into the crypto and and getting understanding i mean from what i get it is that it's definitely something that we should be considering and being in, i think we should be involved in it uh having the prophecy um in front of us i'm not saying we should go all in but i think that if you have a few extra bucks laying around that you could invest i think it would be wise to diversify on some of the some of the cryptocurrencies um, and I'm sure there's other options too, not just crypto, but do you have any, uh, tips yeah, or tricks? I'd just or... say, um, buy and hold. Yeah. It's, uh, that's, that's like the main, main tip, especially just like you said, you know, we know that crypto is going to be the future. It's like, it's so clear. And I mm -hmm. personally believe it's going to be, uh, Bitcoin. So you know, buy Bitcoin and hold it for a year, mm -hmm. five years, ten years. 
I mean, uh, <clears throat> you look at five years ago, it was like um, maybe a thousand dollars, not yeah. even. And now it's uh, like 55, 60 <clears throat> thousand. Won't be long before it's a million. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, just think about, I mean, thousands of people a day uh learn uh learn about crypto thousands yeah worldwide i know that's the thing yeah go ahead so uh yeah i, I mean basically we're, we're still early <laughs> yeah exactly so, we're give, still me some, uh, crypto. give me some crypto i'm so yeah how do we crypto. give me some so bitcoin. how do we how do we uh secure some bitcoin um uh safely like i know we were discussing on you know safe transaction and yeah. um i mean even honestly kurt i mean i would like to know um i would like some advice on how to make a quick profit on some capitalize on some of these little guys um it's a little more of a gamble but again you can do it on with small amounts of money that could fund your long you know your investment into the big one you know um but yeah, maybe you got some tips on how we can do safe purchases. The the actual waiting for the investment is going to be best bet instead of you know wanting immediate. No, Kurt. I I mean I, I definitely say that long term is the way to go, because you know trying to make quick money, um, I I don't think that's that's very wise. Um, I mean, what you could do is, you know, invest, if you're going to invest in crypto, put most in Bitcoin, because that's currently low. And if you look at 10 years, it might have, you know, quadrupled, whatever, it might have, it's like so much bigger. But if you want to diversify your portfolio, I mean, what you can do is put money in Dogecoin, because there's, there's like, millions of people that want to see that number go to one dollar so that's like a little more short term within like five years it might hit one dollar um you know there, there's other cryptos like xrp banks are getting into xrp that's a ripple um you know for the short term that might blow up uh, even more but for the long term, I, I think it's only going to be Bitcoin just because of the, the beast and his superscription, his image on it. And and I think because it's already proven itself um, yeah. to be number yeah. one. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of coins that have potential. But during Jacob's trouble, those coins will not be used, I think. So there's a lot of people that, you know, the, a, a coin gains value by by people uh, that believe in it because it currently it's not really being used. So until it, it gets used around the world, and you can actually, uh, you know, everyone has it, everyone is using it. That's the time when, uh, or th that's going to be the coin that will be mainstream. But... Uh, you know, to, to put money into Dogecoin right now, you can make money off that or put money in XRP. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just saying. Term, to, yeah. Uh, Bitcoin. That, that's all I'm saying is to free up, some, to, to make that quick buck because of the trends that's taking place, to fund, you know, the Bitcoin investment and just honestly you know go in and come out of the of the doge or at least leave some in doge but take your profits and maybe put it into i'd be happier to keep my profits in bitcoin but hey to guys, go ahead and put online i gotta step out all right right adios appreciate you joining us huh adios godspeed all right, godspeed. All right. But, uh, yeah i don't know what yeah, because the Doge is on is is kind of the hot topic, and then the the Bitcoin is on a drop, and I'm not, you know, maybe you could tell, you know, maybe you're a little more educated on this, but I believe maybe Bitcoin may even drop a little bit more. Yep. Um, 
like just a bit more before it comes back up. But it, it once it drops again, I think like that's when it's gonna go, just go up, and everyone's gonna try to get in on it because everyone has faith in it. I'm sure, but this Dogecoin is that is just a wild card right now that's just kind of throwing everything off. It seems, but uh, the opportunity I was talking about, like Kurt, you you have an opportunity to. I've always wanted to have somebody as in like an investor that could, you know, I could just give them money and then get, you know, put it where it needs to be put. You know, that could be, have you ever thought about, you know, doing the work for other people and then you just getting a percentage? Uh, to be honest, I, I don't want that responsibility because if it goes wrong, especially with people you know i i know and care about i don't think you should l lend money from them well the, the risks up front i mean then i don't agree i think because yeah. if it goes south that there's always going to be that thing hanging above each yeah. of your heads and if, if there's just e even with someone i don't know at all i mm. i would still feel so bad because of my decisions mm -hmm. I got you. I mean, is it, is it, I mean, is that actually a job where there's people that are making financial decisions for people? Yeah. Like when they just say, yep, I'm signing up. You're oh, my yeah. guy. I'm signing up with you. Take my money. There are people that Absolutely. do that, huh? Absolutely. Crazy. And, and, and that's the thing with uh, these investment bankers. That That's pretty much what they do. They just have money. People give them money. And they take a percentage. They they try to time the market. They try to, you know, manipulate the market. That's how they earn money. By just it's pretty much gambling, but just taking care of all these thou thousands of people, their money. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they read the news, they make decisions, they make quote unquote professional decisions. And people that don't know anything about investment investing. And especially people that want to make a quick buck, they're like, well, here you have the money, make as much as possible uh, for within one year because I want to pay off my house. house. Now, uh, and, you know, a, an investor that wants to be smart, he looks at, uh, for the long term and he does not look at a day-to-day -day trending line like a, a Bitcoin crash. Like people that hold a lot of Bitcoin, um, they they don't sell at all. They they hold. In the, in the crypto markets, it's called hollow. Um, yeah, it's a joke, but um, yeah, they just look at the long term of it. And if you look at the long term and you invest money, you can lose. Then you're not emotionally involved. I mean, people they borrow money from banks. They they take out a second mortgage to invest more money nice. to bitcoin which and is, the moment which is, that the market crashed like it did yesterday they panic because they think oh it's gonna crash i'm gonna lose all my money i'm gonna be in debt for my whole life and they just have their money they sold everything well and now they're in big trouble so if you be wise about investing and look at it for the long term like 10 years 20 years 30 years whatever then you can like um it's just, it's like a snowball effect. It's uh, um, exponential, like ex exponential, especially Bitcoin. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Amen. So what what's the safest way to buy it? I signed up with a, a Canadian company today called Virgo CX, and I put a hundred bucks in to basically start playing around and learning about it. Maybe, uh, I don't know if you know about them. Sorry? The biggest one is, uh, is Binance. I think it's available in Canada as well. Binance. Yeah, I signed up with them too. You have to use a credit card only. Oh, really? Well, I, I think, think so. Wait, did they're, you say that Binance is the, is the safe bet? Yeah, they're, they're just the biggest. Um, they're, they're like low fees. You have Coinbase as well, which is really popular. 
but their fees are just really high. And it's just stealing money like legally. Okay. So uh, mm. I would go with them. But okay. I think finance is, is the best one. Okay. You can buy a Bitcoin, you can buy Dogecoin. Buy a lot through finance compared to some of the others, I think. Say again? I said it, it seems to me you can buy a lot of different coins through Binance compared to some of the other platforms. Yeah, they're, they're the biggest ones. So, you know, they're the biggest ones for a reason. Um, it's always a reason why, why it's working or why it's not working. So, yeah, uh, I think if, if you had to choose one, I would choose uh, Binance for sure. Yeah. Okay. Now I already have my cash in there. Can I transfer over to Binance, or is there some way I can secure once I purchase it, make it more secure than in this other one? Um, as far as holding, where do I hold? You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. So, uh, just real quick, you um, on Amazon, you can buy a ledger. That's like your bank account, which is like a huh. USB stick. Okay. Okay. So this USB stick, it's called the ledger. Um with which has its private key and its private address. So if I want to send money to you, Bitcoin, I can send it to your address. So it goes to your uh USB. It goes to your ledger. And that's okay. why you keep your money safe. Um, on exchanges like Binance, you can buy Bitcoin. Um, you can buy Bitcoin from miners. They they have all these computers. They receive a Bitcoin and then they sell the Bitcoin or they hold it. It's whatever they want, but they ask a certain price. And then you can send the money that, or you can send the uh, Bitcoin that you buy from Binance or one of these other platforms to your private address that your private key so all your money is on this usb hmm. okay so um and that's pretty much what it is so you just send it to this usb and then you keep the usb safe and then you make sure no one steals the usb and no one knows the uh the, the like the password of the uh usb uh, and then you just hold it. And if you buy more uh, crypto, then you send it to the uh, same address as well. And you just hold it. You don't take it off the USB. You just hold it on the on the USB. That's all you do. You just buy and hold. Buy and hold. Do not sell. Buy and hold. Repeat after me. Buy and hold. <laughs> so, so what happens if you know something were to happen to the ledger? Yep, and that's the thing. And that's why I, I was saying about Microsoft. Yeah. See, that, like, the, but, uh, Bitcoin is great. Money is great. Like, the idea of money, uh, you know, you, you buy some for a certain amount of value, you get something back, that's great. Um, Bitcoin is great. A blockchain is a great idea because it is safe, um, but Satan is going to use that technology for... Uh, for uh, for bad because if someone were to steal your ledger your usb they mm. have all of your money yeah if you lose your ledger you lost all your money after you're talking about the dna thing okay. yep yeah, i I'm, i don't think uh, bjorn was here then so uh um why well, i was listening for sure i listened to the whole conversation but to me the, everything sounds great but this ledger it kind yeah. of is a, is a little bit scary. Yeah, and, and that's, that's the only thing about Bitcoin. You see, you cannot hack the blockchain. That's impossible. What you can do is uh, steal someone's ledger. What you can do is destroy someone's ledger, that USB thing. Uh, what you can do is... Um, uh, steal someone's code like you got to write down the, the, the like that it's like a password it's like uh, e w seven o five a b 
7082 and and that's like the password if someone comes to know so there's a specific password like that you don't just get to pick a password no no oh my goodness and and it's like this long string so you got to write that down now you can preach you can lose the ledger but you cannot lose the password because it's going you can lose the ledger i think so i'm pretty sure you can but you cannot lose the password so it's, it, you have to write it down because you cannot take a photo of it because let's say um, you know, Google gets hacked and you got the photos on Google, well, then the hackers got your uh, password, right? So you need to write it down. But if someone steals that paper, then they know your password. So mm. that's the only bad thing about Bitcoin is that people can steal that password from people so they want to um they want to encode it they want to secure it by people's uh fingerprint which is already on uh, most iphones or um, face recognition but that's already hacked so the only way that bitcoin gets safe is by people using their dna for payments and that's what microsoft is working on is that with every trade you make, you like attach your DNA to it. So it's mm. secure. So only from your body you can pay. Not, not with this uh, key, uh, code that is written on, the, on a piece of paper. You can lose, it can get burned. No, you're going to actually pay with your body. It's like actually t- selling your soul, <laughs> like literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, man, that's scary to think that that's they're scary. handing out the password and making it complicated like that. It's almost like they're giving, they're kind of making the problem, creating the problem. Well, they're trying to make it so it's super secure and you can't just choose any password. But they're making it really hard for you to remember it to the point where now you have to store that somewhere. And yeah. so then they're going to be like, yeah. aha, don't worry, guys. We got the solution. Right here. It's it's like with with everything. Like they they create the virus and then they create the solution. Mm -hmm. And and that's just always what they do. They just get double the money. (laughs) How much, how many key, how many um, um, symbols or or, or whatever it is, um, is the password? Is it beyond nine? Yeah, I, I think it's like uh, 25, 20. Oh, something. my goodness. No one can remember that. Well, it is possible. But yeah. if you lose that or someone comes to find out, that, then you've lost all your money. And that's a good thing about banks. Like, they have your money, um, mm. which is I know. a good and a bad thing. Now, oh, you can have your own money on your own ledger and with your own password. If you lose that, well, you lost all of your money. Mm-hmm. So the, the only good solution is that you actually pay with your own body, with the DNA that is attached to it. I mean, not that is my solution. Like a, like a face recognition. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And that's a, that's what people are studying in 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 like college now. It's like uh, it's called bio uh, bio security or something. Like the fingerprint. Remember when that came out on the? I think it's mm-hmm. an iPhone six for the first time. People were amazed. People were like astonished. And now it's facial recognition. And now they have that data. Next is gonna be well uh, your DNA. People are gonna shrug their shoulders like, well, I mean, they, they already have my uh, fingerprints and facial recognition. Why not? Why not secure my payments with uh, with my DNA? Hmm. Oh yeah, they're gonna be begging for it. Honestly, I would be. That definitely would cause me if I if I didn't know any better, I'd be yeah. caused to take that in a heartbeat. I mean, my goodness, to have this password and probably i mean the, the news will come out that people's passwords are getting stolen or whatever you know um, yeah i mean th- there are so many people that uh, uh, this uh when bitcoin was still really small someone bought this uh, pizza for uh, i th- i think it's uh, 1600 bitcoin when bitcoin was still like uh, 0.0003 dollars something like that which 
you know, if he would have hold uh, holding until today, would have been like uh, 450 million dollars. So, I mean, people are stupid, but th those are like the news articles that get written, which gets more people involved in crypto or people losing their hard drive of their computer, um, which held like 15,000 Bitcoin, but they lost their hard drive, so they lost their money. So the, the great solution is going to be like the, the actual money attached to your own body. And you got to remember, like it's it's all going to happen at the same time, right? There's going to be the millions of people people disappearing from Earth, like this. Uh, they're just going to be caught up into, you know, whatever. <laughs> they're just going to be. <laughs> Imagine them, and there's going to be this one guy with all the answers. Maybe he's going to say, you know, we have had interaction with aliens for 20 years. And for sure. From now on, we're going to play with Bitcoin because that's secure. He's going to have all the answers. This very smart guy with a computer and image. And I mean, I would be deceived. Mm -hmm. no. That's even what the scripture says, right? Uh, if it were possible, even the elect would be. Uh... Mm -hmm. I mean, it's see. all happening at the same time, mm -hmm. and it's not. It's not going to be the slow progression like uh, Bitcoin is. You know, now this bank is doing it. That's happening today, but when the church has got up, that's when everything happens at the same time. Mm -hmm. so are are most people so okay so from what i'm understanding i just started getting to this like it's not even been a week <laughs> and yeah would derek <laughs> join us oh perfect he's mine there's a own. future <laughs> bitcoin miner on the mine mine now. miner derek i'm just raking in the pennies <laughs> <laughs> No, for the fun of it, for the fun of it, I thought I'm gonna just with the equipment, a little bit of the equipment that I have. I'm gonna see what this thing will bring in for, for mining. And <laughs> you know, it's really not that much. I mean, if you let a a good PC with a good graphics card run, I mean, you, a couple bucks a day, maybe. That's why these guys got these massive. Oh massive uh networks of computers to um try to beat everybody else in the game so but it's just i'll do this this bitcoin that i i i hadn't really looked at it um but i kept getting asked about it because everybody thought i knew something about it just because i'm a software developer i mean <laughs> so i I thought I better start looking into this. So that I just started looking into it really yesterday was really the serious day I started looking into it. And so, but it is interesting. I mean, it's, they do take a lot of power. I should have did it during the winter so I could have set something up in the garage, you know, cause it's going to kick out a lot of heat. And then, you know, it, you're, you want to heat your house or your garage or whatever anyway so to me that's the best time to do it but so i've, I've taken a trying a different step i think unless, unless somebody invests in it you know i know a guy that that uh, is, is investing in the actual farming companies hmm. instead of the actual bitcoin itself you know you invest in companies related to bitcoin you know that's linked to bitcoin somehow so whether it's a farming company or what you know or a mining company or whatever mm. so so you're always going to be winning business that way because they're it's just going to keep yeah. going even if they're down they're still going to be capitalizing on that yeah mm. yeah no it's <laughs> you do hear horror stories of oh this this guy and his wife threw away the 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 hardware and you know now it's worth 250 million or 350 million <laughs> and it's gone yeah 
So, or, or this guy, I can't remember where it was. It was in Australia. I can't remember where he was. He can't remember the password. And you only have like so many times to guess the password. And he only had two left. And his, his is worth 250 million, but he cannot remember the password. And he has two more guesses. And he says, it's going to be impossible for me to remember it. So I think that's gone. So, so a great yeah, solution would be to, to have this device connected with your DNA. And that's going to be the password. Yeah. Just, yeah, just thinking about the adrenaline involved in trying to, you know, secure your money. It just, you know, it's just crazy. It shouldn't be yeah, like. I mean, yeah, now you, people trust banks. I mean, banks, you know, I mean, back in 2008, back in 2008, you've seen a lot of bank failures. So people lost their money that way. And, um, you know, if you buy your own gold and silver, you have to protect that yourself and unless you want to trust a bank vault, you know, True. otherwise you protect it yourself. So which one, yeah. which one do you do? Yeah, so whereas, where, yeah, whereas this, you know, it's like a little, you, I, I try to decide because I had to set up a wallet um, in order to do this. So I set up a, you know, you got your physical wallets, which is like a, it looks like a, USB drive type of deal and probably costs, I don't know, a hundred bucks for it. Or you, had, you do uh, a wallet like um, Exodus. I think that's that's the one I did. I did Exodus is what the company's called. And uh, yeah, but if you, when I, when, I, when I signed up, I had to, it, I had to do like a 12 word passphrase. I couldn't pick the passphrase. But it's a 12 word and you do not want to lose that nope. passphrase. So you got to, I had a, I have a password and I also have a passphrase that consists of, it's either 10 or 12 words. And uh, so I obviously want to print that out, put it in a secure location, a safe or somewhere um, where you don't lose that. <laughs> don't have a fire or anything like that. Maybe make a couple copies and have a backup somewhere. I don't know. So, but, but the question I had, which I don't quite know yet, is if you do a physical wallet, like a USB drive type book of thing, what happens if you accidentally ran it over? Uh, you lose it. I don't, I'm not, I don't think you lose your money. I don't think your Bitcoin, as long as you know your. Uh, I can't say that for sure. I don't. Do you lose mm. your? That's a question. Do you lose? I think they money? have a record. Yeah, I'm. I'm reading right now. Ledger and Trezor products come with warranties, and you should be able to get a free replacement, especially if you purchase from an authorized retailer. In this case, you can just recover your crypto assets by importing the recovery seed, recovery seed into the replacement hardware wallet. So, so it's it's like the, the ledger, like the address is is public. So it's like they can yeah. just make more and have have a have a recovery one. That's your address. Mm, yeah. But so the importance the, the isn't passport, in the ledger. You you cannot lose your password. You cannot forget your password or you lose your money. Password so you lose or password or pass. So I did a password and I also did a, a, a 10 or 12 word combination. And I don't know. I obviously I'm keeping them both, but I don't know if you have to remember both or just the 10 or 12 word combination i think that the, the 10 or 12 word combination is the one that you oh, cannot okay. lose yeah 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 here, here i thought oh all right i'll just pick, <laughs> i'll just i'll just pick something out i'll just uh, like take uh uh i'll just take john one one and take the first 12 words <laughs> out of john one one no nope. yeah that'd be it, sweet it generated it Man, for me. If, you can't change if someone it. does hack it, at least <laughs> they read it. They read some scripts. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I couldn't do that. So yeah, this is pretty new to me, dude, too. So I just, uh, 
you know, it, I don't know how hard it is on these computers. You know, it can run on CPU and or it can run on GPU. So on the GPU is a lot better and and stuff quick and faster and stuff like that. And you got to watch hey, out for this, the energy bill. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, you got to consider your your rate your uh, electric rate your how much power that pc is using it, there's a lot of factors involved uh in it and uh you know your rate of return you know is it worth it you know i i don't think so uh, i think it's better right. to invest in one of those companies than, than start your own like one computer uh mining system yeah and that's uh, they don't yeah, even use computers anymore. They, they they have like these special, I don't even know what they are, but it's just like a, a box of like pure power, like pure computer yeah. power. I don't yeah. even know what so, yeah, it's with, called. <laughs> no, yeah, with fans and you know, they're, yeah. they're strictly built for that and you can't use yep. it for anything else. It's, you know, it's strictly for mining is what it's for. So they're... You know, you see these guys with shelves of, of I'm, I'm assuming they're graphic cards, GPUs, this line after line of them. And there's eight here and there's eight over there and there's eight here. So they got about 32 of these things or whatever. And here I'm just trying with one graphic card. <laughs> so they all so started my, with one probably. Yeah, I, I, yeah. If they would have somebody would have started this ten years ago, you know, it'd probably add up. But I don't. Yeah. So, know, so it's... Bjorn, just just to put it in perspective, so there's twenty one million bitcoins. Now, every year, the amount that is able to get mined is halved. So, in uh, Bitcoin was invented in two thousand and nine. So let's say um, 10,000 Bitcoins were available then. That's how people got really easy crypto. The next year, only five, or um, my bad, 10 million the first year, the second year, 5 million, the next year, two and a half. The next year, 1.125. Uh, the next year, half, 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 half. So each year, the computer power needs to be bigger but the amount of crypto that can be mined is halved so you're competing with these super computers with a very um low amount of crypto that can be mined so it it's just almost i, I wouldn't say useless but but that is the direction like it's just it's just almost not possible to compete with these big corporations these big mining facilities that have like thousands of computers, thousands amount of RAM, thousands of CPUs, GPUs that, that are just there to mine Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And there, there's so, currently like 18 and a half million Bitcoins mined. So is it hard to get your hands on Bitcoin or is it simple? Um, yeah, it's it's simple, but um, I saw this, this statistic that this is today is the uh, most amount of Bitcoin held relatively. So people are choosing more to hold their Bitcoin than to sell it. But yeah, people are still trading it today. It's still what they that, that's what they're doing. So what's the difference between trading and 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 is there a difference between trading and buying? buying you said like buying, buying bitcoin is there a difference between buying bitcoin and trading bitcoin or selling bitcoin no, no. so what traders is, are it? buying and selling bitcoin there's no difference so when you sell bitcoin do you get to choose what you're selling it for yeah how does that absolutely yeah does all like, that I, if like the market understand. is saying ten ten thousand dollars you cannot sell for fifteen Oh, it's illegal. Well, no one's gonna buy if yeah, the value. Nobody will if, buy. If, if like, yeah, if if you know, uh, a thousand people are buying Bitcoin for ten thousand, 
no one is gonna buy your uh, your offer because you're offering it for 15. Yeah, I look at the same as a stock market. You got to bid and bid sure, and yep. ask type of deal. So it's the same uh, thing. Other people, yeah, other people are selling it for ten thousand. So nobody's gonna say, "Ah, oh, here's a guy for 15 I'm gonna be a nice guy today and buy buy fifteen thousand from him when I could have bought it for ten. You know, yeah, just, it doesn't happen. So when people buy Bitcoin, they're just buying it from the sellers. Yeah. Someone owns it. Someone has it on their address. Now, the yeah. moment you buy it, um, and, and like the exchange is kind of the middleman, but the moment you buy it, it gets from their address to your address. That's just what buying is. So someone yeah. owns it, and then you buy and then, it, and then it goes to your address. And, and so how? And so what are these? What is Bitcoin being purchased with? Is that how is that? Um, just whatever. If you are in the United States, you can buy with um, US USD. dollar. I'm in Europe. I, yeah. I pay with the euro. Okay. Yeah. Just so it's yeah. fee, you're using fiat currency. Right, yeah. To buy it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and you could test that. You should buy a bunch, Bjorn. I'll give you my address and send it to me once. Send a bunch to me. We'll <laughs> see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Tried when it's uh, ten million dollars. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> I trust. Send you. it off to uh, our boy Derek. <laughs> you imagine? Just don't send. Just don't send it to the wrong address. <laughs> just one one miss miss uh, miss key address. There's one okay. little symbol change, and and your your money's gone. Okay, so before I purchase anything, I want to get a ledger first, or can I purchase? And hold it somewhere else until I get the ledger in the mail. Yeah, you can. Uh, let's say you want to buy on Binance, you can just buy on Binance, and then it's on the exchange. But the thing with the exchange is um, that that the exchange can get hacked. It it doesn't happen it's not often, secure. but it's not secure. So because the that's on uh, that's online. But the moment you put it on your own ledger, it's like in your USB, right? It's not online. It's just on your key, and that's it. And that's why it's called it's almost, a... Uh, it's almost it's physical cold. cash. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you have uh, $1,000 in, uh, in your wallet, like your fiscal wallet, well, if you lose your wallet, you lose that money. Mm -hmm. It's just the exact same. Okay. I might need I might need help with that when the time comes, um, to to go ahead and do that. But uh, definitely want to want to practice it up and uh, throw some money on and uh, yeah, give it a go. I honestly was just hoping to give you like a thousand dollars, Kurt, and you just you know invested for me. But I guess I got to rethink it. I mean, we can. We, I think it's uh, better to just talk about it, and then you know we can yeah. literally do the same steps. But for me to do it for you, I just, I don't know, man. I just, uh, I don't really want to do that. If I'm being honest, for no one, not even my parents. I can yeah, help I them with the steps, but th them sending that their money over and then me doing it for them, no. I want to. I mm -hmm. want to look over their shoulders to see if they do it correctly. But I was gonna say okay. part yeah. of it too is everyone uh, they have to make their financial decision, and you know what's good for Kurt um, doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be good for you, Patrick. Mm -hmm. So, and you're, a lot of it, you know, you're gonna have to go by how you feel about certain stocks or certain currencies and certain risks, and you know how much of a secure uh, you know, what percentage of your investment do you want to be very strong and secure and a slow growth and not emotional you know, money? You, wanna... you know, what's that? If it's all non emotional money, you know, that's the thing, yeah. So, that's I think, I think that uh, Kurt and you know, all the brethren, I mean, should gain education about this this new form of currency and, and we can kind of bounce it off of each other. I mean, money answers all things. And 
uh, you know, this, <laughs> this world is changing fast and to have an early insight and in because of the scriptures and our understanding, we're all learning together. I mean, he doesn't know it all either, but he can only go based on speculation and past trends and current trends and that. And I think that, you know, he's, you know, I'm sure he has good suggestions and even just me studying it for a few days. I mean, I have some ideas and really just like Kurt's been saying, I would say the same thing. The number one would be Bitcoin. I mean, it seems to be the most secure and it's, that's the one that's heading to the moon. <laughs> if you, if any of them, yep. I mean, it's already there. I mean, it's crazy how, like he said, what someone had 1600 bucks given, you know, 1600 Bitcoin given to them and now it's worth 450 million, you know, half a billion dollars. So. And, and just like you said, like, I, I honestly believe that, um, all crypto are speculation, um, except Bitcoin and maybe Ethereum, but the rest of I them agree. are just speculation. And for people yeah, to look Ethereum. at past trends, I mean, yeah, kind of, you, you can look at that because it, it tells you something about the uh, uh, psychology that went behind, uh, behind the trend. But I mean, some of these technical analysis are just laughable because it's just that they're just drawing random lines of like the highest and lowest points. And it's just uh, stupid. <laughs> That's literally what it is. But again, just if you invest for the long term and have uh, keep that vision, uh, don't invest money you can lose. I think you will be fine, especially if you uh, invest in Bitcoin. Um, and another thing, FOMO. Do you know what FOMO is, Bjorn? Oh, yeah. I'm going through that right now, watching the Doge go up and down. Oh. I'm like, dang, I wish I would have spent a couple hundred bucks and it was 25 cents the other day. What the heck, Bjorn? Yep. So if it goes yeah. down to 25 after you know this week, I'll probably then I'll throw 100 or something in there. Just, uh, again, just have a little bit of fun it's fun it's money i can afford to lose yeah <laughs> and 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 that's i think especially that's what dogecoin is that's just fear of missing out because you see that green line you see just you just see it going to the moon <laughs> so uh and, and that's why it, the price is going up so hard because people don't want to miss out like they literally have the fear of missing out they have that actual fear. They fear it. They fear the, the missing fearful. getting that easy, easy money. Remember right. that scripture, the fearful. Yeah, and unbelieving. Yep. yep. And, and that's the same when, when the market goes down. It's the same feeling, but they, they are fearful to lose their money. And when it goes fearful. down, when it goes down, it's going to go down hard. I just, it does, just yeah, that drop off. Let's see, we got a support. Mm -hmm. And that's all I'm saying. Like, I mean, Bitcoin dropped, but it's like, well, it's going to go back up again because I believe it's going to be the, the currency that, that the Antichrist is going to use. So, so why sell it? Right? What, yeah. What's the point of selling? It's going to go up for sure. Yes. Yeah, and then you can just take it, take what you need if you need. When the time comes, you can take what you need. There's no reason to pull it out. And, like, mm -hmm. pull it all out wouldn't make sense. But if you need cash, it's just as simple as just, you know, ca you know, cashing in and watch the rest grow. And that's the thing, like... Um... It's like 90, 95% of traders, they, they buy and sell on emotions. So if you can Amen. just, you know, put that aside, don't invest money you can lose. Uh, think about the long term. And especially with, with the scripture we have, then, then it's just you're, you're not going to act on those emotions. You're going to be like, well, you know, maybe I lost... According to the, the, the trend line, I lost $10,000, but it's going to go back up again in a year. 
might, mm-hmm. might even double or triple. Just like right. if it's not money you need, um, it, it's just it, yeah, it's just a number. Yeah, that's all. It's it's not your life. It, it's just a number. It's a number you can lose. That's right. It's not your mortgage that people put in. I I did a poll the other day on my uh, YouTube channel. Let me see. I've seen that. Did you see the stats? Are you are you the one that's controlling all the comments and the polls? Yeah. Nice. No, I didn't. I, I don't recall. You're gonna have to tell me because actually I probably saw a few polls. <laughs> Remind me. I, I ask people. Um, let me find it real quick. I also I found ask- it funny that I hadn't seen anything on Doge in the last week. I thought that was cool. Yeah, yeah. I I just tried to get as much engagement as possible because <laughs> <laughs> it helps push the uh, the channel. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I I asked, would you borrow money to invest in crypto? Nine hundred and twelve votes. Forty-two uh, percent uh, answered yes. Dang, that that's like four hundred people out of uh, 900 said, yes, I would borrow money to invest in crypto. That's half the people and, and that's what it does. Crazy. It, it forces you to, to, to play on yep. emotions. Yep. It forces you because you're, but, but and, and that's why I, I want to, I don't mean this as an insult, but um, you know, the, these people that they, they want a quick money, like just, just like that, just uh, yeah, yeah, quick yeah. money. Give it to me now. I want tomorrow 5,000% up because I'm, yeah. they, they only see the positive side. And and that's the thing. That, that's a, what a lot of these people do. That's what a lot of trading is, especially day traders. Um, that's, that's all they do. They trade on emotions. They lose money. Mm-hmm. So you got to be real careful for, with that. Because th- that's like gambling. You're, you're gambling with money you don't have. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Day traders, that's what day traders do. But if you invest for the you, long term, then it's not gambling. Do you, okay, do you believe that there, there are day traders that are gambling with money that they do have? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and, they're, doing, and, and they're able to day trade more proficiently because yeah. they can afford to lose it. Absolutely. I mean... Yeah. Um, I mean, let's say um, you invest, you, you got $60,000 today to invest, right? So what you can do on Binance, if you l- just look at a chart of uh, one day, you can invest at a certain point and then the market goes up in value, just 1%. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's six hundred dollars you can just make in one day, right? That's so, all I need. That's all I need, man. Six hundred <laughs> bucks a day? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but, but that's that's what a lot of these day traders do. I mean, if you can lose yeah. the money um, in day trading, and especially the emotions part, if you just see it as a game, like not emotional part, but I mean, the, the chart goes up and down so many times in one day. You can really take advantage of that um, if you're just not emotional about it. And if you and have that's the why, time. Yeah, and if you have the time. And that's why 99% of day traders lose money. But the 1% that can lay aside those emotions, they make so much money because they put just you know a million in five minutes later when the market goes up like one percent well that's a lot of money it's that's one percent of a million and they just made it in five minutes just by buying and selling five minutes later just by not selling that that amount wow but i got zero respect for day traders (laughs) okay (laughs) uh, (laughs) yeah 
it's not and that's a lot really, of the thing as well with um just kind of behind the scenes maybe but um you know a lot of these youtubers right that explain oh michael's back cool welcome <clears throat> A lot of these YouTubers, you uh, you have like Bit Bit, uh, what's his name, Bitboy Crypto, something like that, or Altcoin Daily. I mean, they get value, but the amount of money they earn from their YouTube channel is crazy, like th so much money. They, they, I think they make like um, um, ten thousand dollars a day of YouTube. It's it's insane, and they invest all of that money in crypto, so they they, they report the news. Yep. Yeah. They get the advertisement. They get affiliate marketing with it, and then they invest that money, which they make by reporting the news, and they invest that into crypto. And then it's like, well, I invested uh, seven hundred million dollars in crypto. And it's like this guy's all the answers, but he got all that money from making these videos. Mm -hmm. And that's what with a lot of these YouTubers, like uh, that happens, yeah, in all the industries. <laughs> yeah, but but most people industry, don't realize yeah. it, that they think that, I know. that they get rich by the the thing they they teach, but they don't. They I get know. rich by the YouTube videos they make. And, and then and they they become influencers and maybe not in, admitting it. Yep, it's greasy. I mean, I I, I report the news as well, but uh, I mean, I'm not going to be this influencer that's that's going to be Mister Know It All, and that's what a lot of them do. You know, they have to wait. You got to buy their course. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh, yeah. A lot of guys do that in, on YouTube. They create a channel um, to, to, you know, for their genre, for their industry. <clears throat> and their business is booming because they have the YouTube money and they're yeah. flossing all this extra stuff, brand new trucks, you know, all this stuff, brand new machines. They're getting these machines, you know, these brand new lawnmowers given to them and that. And, they just make it seem like it's all glam. Yep. And you know what What else? Like, um, I used to advertise on Facebook and on Google, you can also advertise. And there's literally a, a group audience you can target, which is called the Get Rich Quick audience. So if you want to promote uh, to certain people, get a certain amount of audience from all across the world, like promote your uh, course, you can literally promote to the get rich quick audience. Oh my Because those goodness. are the people that are most likely to want to get rich quick, learn everything about drop shipping, uh, day trading. Um, you know, they, they're, they want to spend their money on a course of a thousand dollars. And then they sell the course, right? A thousand dollars. All of the courses are like uh, nine hundred ninety-seven dollars, uh, exclusive of, of taxes. So s still taxes need to be added to that. And then they have all these thousands of students, and then they make so much money from the videos and from the course. And then they're gonna post on Instagram that the cars they are able to buy, not of the uh, the things that are teaching. They're, they're teaching, but of the money they are getting from selling the course. So it's this crazy, it's like the, the endless circle. They're promoting all the cars they have on Instagram and Facebook. And, you know, want to be on holiday and live like me and, you know, never work again in your life, then pay for my course. That's basically what they're saying. But all that they're able to do that by selling their course not by following their instruction of the teachings they're doing. Even though you can make money of the teachings, but it's not, it's not able, you're not able to uh, live that lifestyle with the teachings. I mean, how are they able to sleep? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just, and and this is why you buy YouTube premium kids. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. 
Yeah, that's wow. I never thought about it that that like that. You can target the get rich quick audience. That must be a multi billion dollar audience. Yep. Trillion. And, and the and the CPM is high as well. So let's say you create um like drop shipping videos. Um then a lot of people that are in a drop shipping business are added to the um a get rich quick uh, group audience. So by making those videos, uh, those advertisers will show their uh, ad, or Google will show their ad on those type of videos, which will make those people even richer because they get a 55% uh, cut of the advertisers' money. So a CPM, mm -hmm. you know what CPM is? No. So let's say um, I want to show my uh, video advertisement to a thousand people. That's what a CPM is. I got to pay ten dollars. That's what CPM is. So it's an amount you pay to show it to a thousand people, and you get fifty-five percent of that, and YouTube gets forty-five percent of that. So if there's, uh, you know, in the financial world, the CPM is about you know, whatever, $50. Whereas the horse riding audience, the CPM is like $5. You understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. the, 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 the value uh, of the, the competition, consumer. yep. And they, they, they spend way more. Those companies make yeah. more, which means they have more money for advertising. So the people that make videos on certain subjects like investing or crypto, their CPM is way higher um, where do, where, uh, and that's why they make way more money than uh, people that make money from, uh, you know, horse riding videos or holiday videos. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And that's what people don't realize when they, they're not, you know, behind the scenes, kind of. Uh, they just they just see this guy who's on a holiday with a Lamborghini, and they just think I want that lifestyle too. I'm gonna buy his course. He's gonna be, he's gonna teach me the way. Yeah, and then yeah, it's an endless mm -hmm. cycle. Mm. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find. Uh, oops. So Kurt, do you put do you put any if you don't mind me asking, put anything into smaller uh, so called potential coins at um, all? 
No, currently not, but I'm thinking about putting some in uh, XRP. Mm, but I don't know yet. I mean, I'm pretty sure Dogecoin is going to hit $1. But the moment it will hit one dollar, it's gonna crash. <laughs> it's gonna crash to zero. You think it'll crash to zero? Um, maybe not zero, because it's one of those things. Like once it hit, once it hits one dollar, well, what what's gonna stop it to hit five dollars if the people want that, right? Mm -hmm. Just that, that next thing that next, uh, benchmark. The thing that it has is it has it has uh, social media on its side. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. And that Elon it's a new, Musk on its new audience. I mean, Elon Musk. Yeah. <laughs> Elon Musk is their trusted source, and then, and then for uh, other investors, you got uh, the owner of Mavericks there. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Mark Cuban. Yeah. Do you think that Doge is going to go down again um, over the next couple of days? I have a hundred bucks sitting here. I just want to do something with it. I was I was thinking just throwing in a Doge, but if it keeps going up, I'm like, ah, uh, sitting at forty. You always want to buy in a dip. I know. <laughs> Never buy when it's going up. Yeah, that's true. Okay, that's I that's what I thought. Yeah. I guess because I just have this money sitting here. I'm like, oh, I just want to get it over with, but I'll just let it sit for now and uh, see what happens tomorrow. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I'm looking just to have some fun with it. And then as I can get more comfortable with just the transactions and all that, I definitely want to start building towards something else, something more secure. I mean, yeah, maybe you can uh, start with uh, Deutsch and then, you know, once Bitcoin crashes, just, just buy Bitcoin. Yeah. If the, if the stock market is going to crash, which it hasn't yet, mm -hmm. uh, the crypto market is also going to crash. Just, that's a great opportunity. Yeah. Just keep, some, keep making money on my my own business and then just get ready. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe allow uh, Bitcoin payments. <laughs> What's that? Business. Allow Bitcoin, allow Bitcoin payments. payments. Yeah. This can that be done or what? I think it's extremely easy to add a Bitcoin payment. No I'm way. Sure. It is. Yeah. No way, hey? Oh, I would love to know how to do that. That would be something cool. Because the conversation always comes up because we have so many transactions. Like, oh, how would you like to pay it today? We got this, this, this. Oh, and Bitcoin. <laughs> that guy would be calling you back if he's like a Bitcoin, you know, connoisseur or whatever, crypto crypto guy. Uh, uh, where's your uh, wet website from? Is it like from... Um, uh, like a WordPress website? I think so. Yeah, Michael Michael did it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think well, Michael I was... used. Brother Mike, yeah, did the website? Yeah, he did WordPress. I feel like we've had this conversation a few times in the last few months. Let me see. Oh, did I you can... tell me that already? I'm sorry. So there's something called BitPay, and I'm pretty sure. It's, it's just like a plug-in. And if you add it to your website. <laughs> but I don't know how taxes work with that, so. Uh, let's see. BitPay. Yep. Bit BitPay checkout for WooCommerce. So it's just a plugin. 
uh, accept cryptocurrency payment from your customers such as bitcoin ether ripple bitcoin cash and usd stable coins price in your local currency gets settled via bank transfer blah blah, blah. no chargebacks blah, blah. so where does it when when the customers pay the crypto where does it go it's going to get um, directed to like an online wallet and then you got to pull it out it looks like you can just connect your uh, your private key, like uh, your address. Interesting. And there's more more companies that do that as well, but I don't really think that people currently want to use their Bitcoin to pay. Yeah. Most people just want to hold. BitPay, if you want to look it up. What's that? It's called BitPay. Okay. It is. <clears throat> On the WordPress, uh, you can just go to plugins, and it's called BitPay. BitPay. Cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. There you go, Patrick. Without so many words, I mean, Kurt's telling telling us Bitcoin is the way. Bitcoin is the way. <laughs> the truth. It was and... one of the ways, I should say. <laughs> and um, yeah, I agree with you, to, uh, Kurt, on the on the Doge. The Doge is on the upswing, while it's funny while well, the Bitcoin is on the down. Mm. And then when the Doge goes down, the Bitcoin will probably go up. I think that that's going to drive more people to just take that cash and maybe put it in Bitcoin or give it back to their lender. <laughs> yeah. that's, the th that's the thing about trading. Like, I mean, you can like make a lot of money but you know that people lost money. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. That's I mean, true. of course, it has everything, but I mean, it's also kind of sad the amount of people that just are so stupid with investing and get emotional, yeah. borrowing money. I mean, there's literally marriages that end because of just people that want to make a quick buck. Well, I just heard, yeah, I heard a story about uh, this wife leaving because this guy wouldn't sell his Bitcoin because it was on the up and he wouldn't and he wouldn't buy it or whatever. Or even on, on top of that, the icing on the cake is that when Bitcoin dipped, he bought more. <laughs> and that was it. Money problems, man. It's, yeah, it all goes down. It, it's all based on how what can you afford to. What can you, uh, you know, what's your threshold? What's your threshold of com comfort for how much you're willing to lose? Because if it's a, if you're not willing to lose it, then it could ruin your life, you know? But then the, and then the other side of the coin is if you've made a, such a drastic amount of profits off of something that's skyrocketed, such as, you know, Bitcoin or whatnot, at what point are you going to pull something, a portion? Mm -hmm to lit now you can li now you can live your life in a much more comfortable level now you can own your home now you can you know pay off your student debts and stuff like that i think there's this that fine line where you know that level of comfort how much com how comfortable are you holding on to that much of a gain and not and not pulling something because if you're living your life you know day to day paycheck to paycheck and you just made a bunch of gains, it's obviously wise to pull something out instead of go through that pain. Have you ever heard of uh, Dave Ramsey? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, I used to listen to him quite a bit. Same I here. We used to we, listen to him. Until what we happened? Forsook, we forsook him. And my wife's listening to him again. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I, so, something he says about um, um, 
what is it again? The... He claims to be a Christian, right? He does, yeah. Live like live like no one else, Just so like you can no live. No one else. The later you're gonna live and give. No one else. No give one like else. no one else. Yeah. Live like no one else, so you can li later you can give like no one else. Yeah. But he boasts about the things that he gives. I don't like that. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, I mean, good for him. <laughs> no, but yeah, one of the set of is um, uh, money. Is is pretty much um, spending money is how people make money and lose money, which is really obvious. But um, I, I forgot the words that he said. Uh, hmm. Just find it quick. To make money, you gotta spend it. That's for sure. One of the names of the game. We buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress, impress people, people we don't people. like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of like like and liked listening to him because it's like so contrary to what especially my generation believes is cool. Because whenever, you know, someone says to him about... Um, well, you're not normal, and it's like, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't want to be normal because it's cool to be in debt. It's cool to mm -hmm. go to college and be t tens of thousands of dollars in debt. That's that's normal. It's normal to live paycheck to paycheck. But I mean, some of the things that he says is, I mean, it's, it's so common sense, but it's never taught at school, right? I mean. Um, for example, like the budget, I never heard about a budget from no one. But when I get out of really, uh, nah. <laughs> I mean, I, I I honestly believe if you don't start off the month month with with you not knowing where your money goes at the beginning of the week, you don't even know where to, where it's gonna end up by the end of it. I mean, it's just so it gone. Says, it's just that's what he said. He said a budget yeah. is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. Yeah. Ooh. You must gain control over your money or the lack of it will forever control you. Hmm. That's a lot. And also these credit card companies, he's right about those. I mean the it, the the pain factors in your brain. Like yeah. Whenever you use a credit card, even a debit debit card, like they don't get activated at all. It's just swipe. The easier it is, you know, fast checkout. You go on Amazon and they they have your address saved. They have your payment method saved. And yeah. You don't even think twice about it. And w once it gets delivered to your home, the the adrenaline rush is gone. And, uh, and you just spend money. And like a week later, you think like, well, why did I even buy this? Mm -hmm. So the fine is only $5,000 or a year in a year in prison. If you don't, if you uh, don't quarantine. But apparently, what? They're, yeah, they're arresting people that, well, Hawaii is, has one of the, I mean, it's one of the major uh, Canada, Hawaii, Couple other ones, um, but most country, most states in uh, United States are pretty flexible. You can come and go, but with Hawaii, you can be fined up to five thousand. So you have to do the test three days before your last leg. Um, it has to be from the last leg of your flight, and then if you have a uh, in, incomplete result, then you have to be quarantined for 10 days. If you test positive, of course, 10 days without meds, uh, they have to, like, you have to uh, quarantine with no medicine and you're being checked on or something. Uh, but if you get your results, you're good. You can just go. But I'm just 
I'm sitting here researching this, like I'm trying to figure out how they have a couple of different um they have a couple of different locations for you to actually stay to be quarantined, which I'm just trying to figure out how can they make you pay that it should be free if they're quarantining you, right? Yeah. Yeah, they make but, pay. They make you pay big bucks over here in Canada, two thousand bucks for, for like three days. Yeah, it's I have crazy. to go. Uh, I can uh, if you guys are still on in a bit. I'll probably be. I gotta go and put Liam to bed and spend some time with him before he goes to sleep. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, I appreciate the study and all the time we spent. Um, yeah, with the scriptures and out of the scriptures, asked their questions okay. and. I wish more brothers would have got involved with with their questions and you know uh, regarding this the topic about. of the crypto and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think that this conversation should continue. I don't. I think that like, I mean, if the scripture says money answers all things, and we have the prophecy right in front of us, um, there's still time. Like Kurt was saying, it's still very early. Mm -hmm. So you know. People are just uneducated, and I think that, that mm -hmm. this Dogecoin is just an education coin. It's here to train people. Um, it's, it's here to, you know, it's behaving like no other coin, essentially, too, because it's all driven by height. Um, but, yeah, like Kurt was saying, it'd be a good coin to start off with. He was saying, you know, especially if you're low, like just do, using it a little bit. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, I think it'd be good. Like, I'm going to get going on it. I know Kurt's already into it. I don't know who, who else is doing it. I don't think anyone else is. Maybe maybe Michael. I don't know if Michael is. Um, I'll probably invest a little something in it. Yeah, and I think we should all just learn together. Um, it's a bit. Of, it's a numbers game, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Well, I agree. Hey Amen. Well, yeah. I, I appreciate you, Kurt, and I appreciate you taking the time to to be here answering questions and you know preparing for the study as you did and you know value what you uh, your your opinion on the matter and I appreciate you. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want this conversation. And I want us to keep talking about it for sure. Um, I don't mind sharing. Um, financial you know ideas and and stuff like that so yeah definitely um keep us posted kurt i know you got your your news show but you know um if there's opportunities or anything like that i mean i'd love to hear um any inside word you get yeah me too for Real sure day. i mean so, uh, what's the number one rule again uh, believe uh, on the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, invest investing uh, without emotion and invest with money that you know you're not gonna. It's not gonna be pain too painful to lose, really. Um, yep. But oh yeah, don't buy in. Don't buy in. Buy in the dip, not on the on the high. Buy and hold. Repeat buy and hold. Buy and hold. That was my I biggest hold. takeaway. Be willing to uh, really invest it over a long period of time, and I mean, not I, uh, on impulse. But that I might think, not apply to Doge. That's the only thing. Is like, yeah, yeah Doge. Doge is an exception. Mm -hmm. And and that's what I was saying about Bitcoin. I mean, you know, we already know uh, the end game. Like we we have an unfair advantage of knowing the scripture. And having the word of God telling mm -hmm. us that, you know, not the technology exactly, but I mean, we can we can kind of piece it together, right? So, I I definitely believe uh, Bitcoin is going to be the the one world currency. So, mm. this, for sure, yeah, definitely, definitely agree. Definitely a good uh, um, theory or. You know, option or whatever you want to say. I would say, yeah, it's a theory for sure. I think it's a strong theory. I don't think that there's 
I think that anyone who tries to come in and take place over Bitcoin is too late. Yep. They're too mm -hmm. late. By, by how many years, Kurt? How long has it been? Bitcoin's been around 15 years? Since 2009. Uh, 2009. Yeah. So, uh... so 12 years or so. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So it's still in its infancy. It's. Yeah. It's only 12, 21 million Bitcoins, and a lot of them are lost. <laughs> so there's a lot of. <laughs> Is there a recovery program? <laughs> right. Imagine being the guy that forgot his password on two hundred fifty million. Though that's oh man, probably just wanted to slit his wrist. Yeah, I hope that I don't hope he does that, man. But, yeah. Uh, cool. Yep. Be wise about it. It's two a.m., so I gotta get out of here. All right. Godspeed, brother. Thank Appreciate you for you. all your time. All right. Ditto. All right. I'll Let's see y'all Wednesday. Well, well, well. All right. Show me the tribute money. Show me, yeah. show me. Who's in <laughs> so the inscription, the superscription inscription is going to be that big B, eh? Yeah. Best in that mark of the beast, huh? Mm. Yes. Man. God is good. All right. God. God, God, God nice. you, brothers. Godspeed. Michael, if you're here, we're going <clears> to <throat> stop the study now. Appreciate you joining. And with the gospel real quick <clears throat> believe that jesus is god manifest in the flesh came unto his own the jews they rejected him they killed their own king their, their messiah and he was innocent they were guilty we are guilty yeah uh, he is the just the holy one they crucified him he paid for all the sins of the whole world he was buried um and he rose again on the third day. He was dead for three days and three nights. And he was seen alive by over 500 witnesses. And if you believe that gospel, the word of salvation, you will go to heaven. Pray you believe that.